sweet. Whatever, we got Sega in here now? Testing for Seg. Testing for Seg. I'm sure he had to leave the room whenever I needed to speak to him. But <laughs> He is <laughs> muted, so even if he's talking, he can't talk. No, I'm oh, just no, it's testing. Uh, there we go. I think I heard him on that one. Oh. You did. Wonderful. For once, I'm not making something up. I'm just winking at the character here real quick. Sue, you guys recently left off in, I guess, taking on a side quest, right? Going about deciding that you guys need to get a little bit more work credit in as the school year for the school, as the second school year is about to begin. In doing such, it's brought you to this. Uh, how would you describe it in one word is this exciting it has brought you to this exciting seg what would you do what would you say in one word i think you muted thanks man man you're muted seg Shio, what word would you use to describe the scene in which you are upon? Oh, Shio is entranced. Entranced. That is a perfect description. So an exciting entranced situation as they are here to help uh, demonstrate or perfect or... You're not even quite sure outside of your little taunt about completing some performance that's been laid out and planned for you. A typical bait of a ally only to turn into a heartbeat you guys knew it was a trick but something just pulled you in in doing so it brought you right into the center of this that we'll call it an excavation area in the center of one of these newly found lore hold sites it looks like they're trying to find some well items of interest some new artifacts some new history perhaps nonetheless you find yourselves surprised, face to face with the harpy. I believe some of you guys. I think maybe it's just Shio. Is it just Shio who's under the effects of, or is it Seg? Who's believing? Yeah, I made happened? it and Seg made it after our, the guidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't originally made our wisdom saves. Perfect. So Shio, oh. you are seeing good old Shivari. She is still pleading for help, and she's saying, "Thank you, but help." Thank you. But help, like, on a repeat, almost like any disturbing, like, matter that is odd behavior, especially for someone of this particular nature. You guys have known her to be more shrewd and, you know, tough around the corners. Nonetheless, you guys are flying, I believe. Yeah, you guys are flying. She, you're 20 feet. The uh, second is you are 30 feet in the air. All while this is happening, and the most commotion possible is about to erupt inside this excavation site. Someone else is off on the beaten end. Good Sir Runt, what would you say you're doing in the study corridor, the outdoor the outdoor study corridor of Lorehold? I'm going to go ahead and bring the map for you in a second once I in install it. I'm currently looking at a debate over catapults and trebuchets. And where do you stand? Mm. Everyone says that uh, trebuchets are better, but sometimes I just love the more sim simplistic nature of catapults. Do you share, like, are you are you just enjoying this to yourself? Or are you involving anyone in this particular debate? Or are you speaking aloud, even? Oh, currently just studying by myself amongst uh, a pile of... Uh, letters that were back and forth between uh two uh, generals you got it in doing so go ahead and give me an <coughs> insight check insight okay um gotta get re-familiar uh, okay, with... so you should be able to double click onto your token and a character sheet should pop up yes or no Oh, I guess you don't have a token. Just kidding. He's not in the site. Gosh, you're good. All right. 
Uh, you start off pretty even. Congratulations. Coming in solid. You sit in your own decision. <laughs> you tell me. Like, I guess you were just telling me, and I guess that's where your input lies. Um, in doing so, you hear a odd shriek in the distance. Maybe a banshee being unleashed again. Very common out here. Uh, maybe a tomb being opened. Maybe someone falling into uh, a pit hole or a sand trap. But it's no immediate alarm. Well, uh, I should probably let someone know that I, I think someone might have just gotten hurt. Or at least they need to be more quiet around this library. <laughs> Um, I'll go search for the uh, librarian. Okay. Hold on a second. I will have your map up in 10 seconds, maybe. And we're in the player's folder. I am dropping Runt. So we'll say this is the tent in which you were studying in. One second. Let me load you guys all in. I don't think I gave anyone observership, so let me do that now. And boom. Okay. Do you see the screen before you? No. I do. Uh, Still black out. for me. If click, click and drag out. Like, proc your, uh, I guess, uh, vision. Or refresh one, oh. too. Uh -huh. there, we, there we go. Oh, okay. I'm in a tent. I don't know how to set right. here. That was weird. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be there. <clears throat> so it's so like a three needs to courtyard, be. Of, courtyard with individual studying areas. Yes, uh, basically. So uh, there are three personal tents. There is the tea room. So in Lorehold, uh, particularly, this is a place of odd zen. You would think this is the chapels and pedestals and all those other fancy temple-like displays in which Buddhists or other followers in odd religions and monk ways would find their peace. But truly, it's the nature and history in which the buildings here lie. Throughout Lorehold, it is a mashed up of different civilizations all in one hot spot over different millennia and times due to the snarls that ran into each other when the planets first merged. During that time, this location had been known as the Zencist. In such, a tea is quite enjoyed here, and there is also a apothecary, laboratory, observatory, whatever it is in, we'll say scientific means you need, and then a couple other, you know, workshop rooms for you to do your own studies or excavating purposes and what have you. There is ancient history here that once told others that a warlord who led nothing but war consistently died at this very tea house. The, the tea house before you is a replica recreation based off of the plans and historical artifacts that had given a brief understanding of what the building may have looked like and such the surrounding buildings do the same. Very cool. You are free to move around. You do see a individual here. You would know them by name as Joel. Joel here is not necessarily friend, foe, or neutral, but you say hi enough times as you pass by for them to know your name and refer to you directly as such. <clears throat> uh, Joel, you the one making noise out here. Runt, it is absolutely not me making any noise. I was silent when you approached. Do you know what direction they came from? He raises an ear. You see it, like, twitch. Uh, an excavation site about a mile out. A mile? It's <laughs> a bit far. <laughs> and I heard all the yes. way from here. These ruins have a way of bouncing sounds around. They say the wind travels it to fool the banshees and where to go and haunt next. 
Mm, well, I'm about done with my studies. Uh, I'm put up my letters and go take a, a jaunt. Don't get any trouble, Runt. There's no one looking out today. Ah, uh, I'm fine. I got my go uh, my gauntlets. He just gives you a head nod as you begin your depart. As you head out and gather your things, is there anywhere else you wish to visit here before departing? Uh, not right now. No. All right. Meanwhile, while you begin your journey, back at one thing, I'll pull the right map. Back at this location, <laughs> excavation site, soon to be discovered as other things, depending on the situation at hand. We have three individuals, four individuals, hurling speedily in the air. In doing so, another, another, and another of Screech's cry out. Ah! Here... As you see one pull up from the perch, and then you hear like a um, pushing of a great coming out here, like a little plume of dust as you see another one. And then another one emerging here ever so slowly. Turns out this just became a party. My dear friends, I need you guys to roll me initiative. Oh, that's inconvenient. Bushio well, got a good initiative for once. Whoa, that's what it is. Weesh. Not bad, not the worst. The battle has begun. It looks like I will take the lead in today's first combat encounter. And it is Harpy in the south. You see this one as it came out so slow and steadily, almost as if it was like kind of twitchy on like a on like a high of some sort. You see like a compulsiveness in their muscles just kind of contract, and it's just like. <sighs> and then she pops out her wings. It goes about twenty five feet in the air. And just watches you all, steadily waiting, deciding. She I feel like we're being judged. <laughs> you need to give me a wisdom saving throw, please. As you hear this cry out, you hear multiple shivaris. Help me! The thank you coming from all kinds of directions. As you look, you see three other entities. The question is, what do you see? You see a total of four Shivaris surrounding you. At this point, you are now in a state of fear. You are not afraid of her, you are afraid for her. You feel like these other three are enemies, but you can't bring yourself to harm them because they look like her. Interesting. Interesting. You currently take nine points of psychic damage. You then need to give me a constitution saving throw. And how are you flying again? I'm using my wings. Uh, gotcha. That's feet. right, your new feet. Okay, yeah. All right. You people, you're good. You're still flying, and that is not an issue. You don't lose any focus on your ability to do so. All righty. Is, 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 is. You now see four harpies, all of which look to, well, one looks to be judging you. The other two seem to be also watching in their current positions. The one before you, you know, oddly enough, none of them have tried to harm you. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I need a sec to think what to do. Nothing's ever not tried to kill us. 
<laughs> Even the school mascots. <laughs> oh, that's what's missing. Take all, cast guidance, and give that to Sing. Let me target him real quick. Hey, Zig, I meant to ask. When you shoot that pistol, there's a reload function, correct? I don't know, actually. Because it's like a single kind of thing. It's like a basic-ass pistol, right? Are you an Artif, sir? Yeah, I'm not an artificer. No. I'm considering well, multi-classing. Right. That'll be um, it for my turn for now. Okay. So you cast your form into Sorry Archer. Do you don't take the attack? Or is that a bonus action after you go into the form? I technically get, I think, but I'm not going to attack um, this turn. Oh, well, you use the cantrip as an action. And then you use this as a bonus action to go into it, and then you need to use another bonus action and then cast immediately. So if you used your action to go into it, you could then bonus the attack. Yeah, I'm not going to attack since I have been attacked. Okay, but you're ready. Exactly. You got it. I'll, I'll hold back for once and not go to instant murder spree. Yeah, that didn't end with well yesterday. Actually, the same day. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's nobody. <laughs> As such, Seg, we find you hovering above about 10 feet from the target. I don't know. Are you muted or are you just thinking? Oh, I'm just thinking. Sorry. Mm. You guys are really thinking today. That's surprising. See, normal uh, weapons, Aaron, is they they have like a whole RP skit, but I threw them right into combat, so they had no chance to have any of those moments. <laughs> That's how you do it. They would have had a whole plan before this. So, uh, they were helping someone with a senior project, like lure harpies? Uh, no, they don't even know, actually. The, the senior project, actually, uh, Shio, give your iteration of what happened when you approached, or when you came to accept this job. Uh, so we figured, based on this guy's reputation, it would be more of like a fight. So we came in prepared. Oh, let me open that thread so you can check that out, though. Um... So we came in prepared to fight. But what we saw was one of our friends injured, hanging on like one of the, the, the bridge area that where the harpy's over, with like a broken wing. And so we decided, yeah, it's a trap, but we probably got to go help. Can't take any chances for our friends, because we don't have very many. <laughs> yeah. So it was the across Groomsh's battlefield. In the Dimming Star news post, uh, Grumishy Fourth Year is requesting help with their final display project. Head toward Lower Hole Campus to be directed to the arena Grumish is preparing. Within, you will get the details on his request. All I was told to print were directions. Sorry. In which they arrived. When you arrived, a either Grumish themselves or a recording of some sort spoke out to you guys saying... Test your wit. Here's the challenge. Come forward and see what my final display has. Show it off at its purest. In which they believe you will do great in. But so far, it has been leaving you guys boggled. We're not smart, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't inaccurate. That is a pretty accurate team description. But, seg. That leaves you midair in thought. What is your plan? Shio isn't like directly attacking me, right? No, Shio just doesn't want to harm this thing. Shio puts between you and it, basically, in a, in a perspective point of view. Shio's like holding on to Shivari, like bringing them up, you know, like helping them. Hmm. All right, I am going to cast 
Is a harpy song magic or a curse? <laughs> no idea. You'd have to roll to know. It's <laughs> a spell slot. I can I spend my action deliberating whether or not uh, a harpy song is a spell or a curse. Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll me an arcana check. And then call oh. it out because I had to refresh my screen real quick. All of my attributes disappeared. <laughs> yeah, did we uh, change something? I think I yeah. lost some of my spells. Uh-oh, hold on. See, it's not just me having weird errors. I was like, why can't I get any of these sheets to pop up? Hold yeah. Up. yeah. And they're the old oh, sheets, too, the yeah, yeah. original one. Okay, I'm going to switch it to the importer, and let's see uh, if we can at least see normal sheets. Great. Runt hacked, hacked the entire system, guys. It's all over. Ah, uh, dang. <laughs> That's why he's in Germany. Damn. He's giving the data literally a live feed. They're hooked in. Hard line. <laughs> JMO from man. <laughs> All of our stats start slowly disappearing. We used to start fading yeah. away. I am, I am nice. the vampire. <laughs> who is German? Who is Germany to stop our war crimes? Right. So it looks like your sheets are working again. But no, 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 good sheets are active. So let me just activate the good sheet Ooh. and see if something funky, I don't know, unfunks. Let's just hope. Check it out. Uh, does anyone use the combat hood? Uh, that small one? I don't know. I don't know how big it is for you. But sure. Anything other than manually doing it all. The combat hood is like on the bottom left. If, if you guys use it, you would know, I guess. Oh, yeah. The little shortcut thing? Yeah. I do, but I can live without it. I don't really I use it. The things. Okay. Well, I'll leave that because I don't think that's what it is. But I was just going to quick, quickly... Uh... See in here if maybe something is a little goofy. There's been some updates, so there's that. Okay, but you should still be able to roll right now, Sig. So go ahead and do that in the meantime. That should be working. Again. All right. Yeah, I just refresh in my foundry real quick. What um, modifier does Arcana use? Intelligence. Arcana, yeah, intelligence. Oh, okay. I was going to ask if I should just roll a physical d20, but it looks like it just finished loading. All right. Normal. A 12. Okay. okay. It's going to refresh for you guys one more time, by, by the way, right after that. I just wanted to get the dice up. And we, it should hold. Cool. Um, so a 12. With that, you, sir, you feel like it's more magic than it is a curse. Okay, cool. Um, in that case, I would like to cast spiritual weapon behind that first harpy. Um, hmm. once I figure out how to do that on the other sheets you know what Just we'll just switch them to the regular one it looks like the D&D &D sheet itself is busted Oof. like the tidy sheet's busted so you guys are going to have to live with the uh, the rough the rough OG that's not my fault they gotta update it sorry guys but you, sh it should, you should still be able to pop it up. I changed your sheet already. So if you close it and open it again, it should be the uh, other one where it shows all your stats on the left and then your skills in the center. Okay. Cool. Everyone okay. else, make sure you can access your sheets, please. I'm good to go. Me too. Mine seems okay. All right. So. Now, sec. Let us try again. Okay, let me just find 
There's a weapon. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm out of second level spell slots. Mm. Yes, okay. I will. Stay right I'm, only ten... <laughs> I'm only 10 feet away from the harpy, right? Correct. Then I'm just going to back up a little bit. Probably over 5 feet. 15 feet seems good. And then that's my turn. You got it. Meanwhile, on their approach, give me a perception check, Mr. Runt. <laughs> oh, yeah. You think you're going the right way, that's for sure. Absolutely. You're just following the gut. And yeah, I'm just you looking see at the. About all the maybe carvings half on the ground. Mile ahead. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You see about half a mile ahead a structure that you assume to be the location in which you were described. But you don't hear anything else coming from it as you hear the crunches of the uh, dry brush, etc. beneath your feet. Just <laughs> distracting your way. Next round, you will be present. Imagine that they've been in combat for an extensive amount of time when you arrive. Depending on your rules, of course. But yeah, that's kind of how you're walking into a scene, basically. Uh, with that, you guys, if you want help, then you got to survive this round and just survive this round. 25 feet, this harpy <laughs> and then flies 10 feet forward. This one and goes to 30 feet. Which is where they're already basically at, but they take flight. And here, because none of you are on the floor, I need Runt to give me a. Well, actually, what's your passive, Runt? My pa what passive? passive uh, perception. Sorry. Perception. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I got a look. It has been many moons since I've done this. <laughs> Should be just 10 plus your wisdom. Uh, that would be a... So it'd be 12? 12. That's okay. the case. You get distracted. You, your distraction gets pulled to attention toward the structure ahead of you to give you haste of approach as you feel a rumble, like a some kind of traveling passing you beneath your feet. And not a, I wouldn't say a fast pace, but a much steadier pace than yours. And it is heading straight to where you're going. You said it, some to where I'm going? Okay. Like like you feel like like beneath you something trembling, like, like a train, let's say a subway is traveling oh, okay. beneath you in the same direction, but it passes <sighs> you on. Interesting. I mean, there's all sorts of forms of travel here. Wouldn't surprise <laughs> me if there's also a train. <laughs> Don't oh, we, we have also trains? Do re initiative, uh, just so you're aware. When you get into combat, so you're not at Okay. Uh, with that, we begin yet again with Moi, dead center. She will look at you, Shio. Shivari will cock her head and go, Shio, your friends don't believe you. I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw, please. If they don't believe you, kill them. Hmm. You take half. Of 12 points. So you take six points of psychic damage as you winch. Like, you, you feel like she's right, but you, your gut tells you she's wrong as you hold on to a part of your own consciousness. As such, we lean into you, Shio. Right after you just get inflicted by an oddity of insanity. What so, do you find yourself doing? so I'm still under its influence, right? I can, sure. I still see it as Shivari. Correct. 
Uh, then I'm going to take Shivari back to the cliff right here and okay. try to set her down. She allows you to you use your movement to take the cliff. You guys oh. see him pull out a basket, blanket. I think that's a cheese board coming next. Um, whole date situation going on. <laughs> Come on, guys. What's wrong? I mean, there, it's weird that there's four Shivardis, but let's face it. We've had a lot of weird stuff happen. I think you're melting. I don't think so. So if you don't shut your simp ass up right now, I'm going to shoot you with my black powder. And it might actually hit. <laughs> like that'll <laughs> happen. <laughs> like how he says it might actually hit. There's a small chance that it will. So there's hope, guys. You're more likely to shoot yourself with it. <laughs> there's this, like, oddity with my system. That will only let me open your character sheets. Really? Like, wow. I can't open any creature sheets. Oh, wait. Nope. I can open something I made. And it was one time, Shio. One time. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. I only hit Anivia once. Yeah, the only time you ever hit. Oh, is do the thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too I'm painful. Time, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to hit one day. It's going to be a crit. Max damage crit. You just watch. Don't encourage his delusions, is. You just wait till I get a better gun. There's got to be an artificer at the school somewhere. I did build a machine that can alter time, so I'm just saying. If we sacrifice enough to it, maybe we can make it happen. Wait, you're telling me I can kill people to get a better gun? You know, well, Shio says it's not. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, oh, Shio keeps saying it's immoral. I mean, you can't keep doing that. I mean, if we're going to lose the timeline anyways, we may as well turn the worthless lives into something I can carry to the better timeline, right? They're all going to oh, die to no, the masters no. anyway. If you feed someone to the machine, they're erased. We don't know that, though. <laughs> we don't know we're hopping timelines. For all we know, we could go back, go to the other place, stop the masters there, and then be sent back here. This is why you don't have enough wisdom to... Resist a tiny little bird song. It's because he's not wearing his tinfoil hat. Moron. It's in my bag. I have my brain more. is half it the is. size of yours, and I'm still wearing mine. <laughs> Does he know what he's wearing it wrong is? It's totally backwards. It's a tinfoil triangle. Right, you you can't wear it wrong. We're back in business. All right, sorry about that. Thank you for going on. Meanwhile, well, that was happening. Is you have a brief what? What's going on? As you look behind you, as you hear everyone communing and co complaining with one another, the harpy behind you is like Slaff! swings by, and you see claws coming at you. Everything's going to be super raw right now, guys. So, like, all that fancy automation is out the door because I don't know what's causing the issue. So, if you guys need help, I'll manually do it for you. Uh, anyways. A 13 is... Where am I? Oh, uh, actually, actually, let me miss. check. Hey, that actually misses. Miss. Something yeah. missed. Ow. It okay, happened. Guys. She's mad. Here comes Well, up. I mean, when you're the size of a cat. Wow. All right. You just see these two claws coming in. For some reason, Iz isn't even trying. But somehow she's missing. Congratulations, Iz. Very impressed. You done it. Meanwhile, this one comes down to Shio. And sits down and perches themselves by Shio. It's just like, 
as another Shivari comes to you, Shio. Shio. Don't let them hurt us. And you give me another wisdom say, please. It's gonna keep happening, my friend. Oh, very nice. You take half. So you take five points of psychic damage. Seg. For some reason, they are not harming Shio. But Shio keeps twitching. Hmm. Well, as funny as it would be to really pop a cap in his ass, instead, I'm going to cast the spell magic on him. They are definitely interfering with the duel. That's a crime. Yep. <laughs> you cast the spell magic, good sir. Shio. You blink. You blink again, and you see this just fanged, clawed, skinny, pale, pale toned, shabby, oily haired, winged harpy before you just hiss him. <sighs> What's wrong, Shio? You don't trust us. And they just learn your face and you just kind of go into a brief panic. You snap out of it. You see your allies finding the air is doing some pokey pokey with one of them. Shivari's thoughts are all gone. You are under attack. So, anything else you wish to do? Movement? Um, yeah. I'm going to get real up close and personal with the one attacking me. She can take care of herself. And you stand there. You got it. Forgot you had nothing else you could do. Is. Yep, that's it. Seg flies to join you. Hey. You made it. So I guess they're not friendly. Definitely doesn't seem like it. Are we supposed to kill them, or would that, you know, hinder the research project or something? Well, I remember reading that we have one natural right, and that is self-defense. I say we disintegrate them and let God sort them out, which might be Shio. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's the nearest God, then sounds good to me. I don't know if he has his qualifications yet. Like, how does that work? Do you get, like, a letter in the mail? Dude, I don't know. I barely worship the god I get my powers from. I cause a little chaos. He gives me a little energy. It's all good. I'm trying to figure out how to up gas one moment. You're good. As you're figuring your things out. Uh, I got it. Doom. Screw you. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. As you guys just see that out of nowhere from the sky above, some shining light, almost like a silver like cross, but instead twirling like a fan, speedily down. slams right before between um, Iz and Seg. Shio, you look and you see the harpy bathed in bright, radiant light as she begins to holler. But let's see, give me a con check. Well, maybe she doesn't holler. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, she's hollering. She's like... <laughs> She's just, you see her sizzling, but her visage stays the same. Oh, yeah, and. and... Sorry, I'm having to target and click. Is that considered disadvantage because you're point blank? 
Don't believe so. Let's check. Anto has this form, bow to sanctification, rain spell attack, curling, so. Range. Then yeah, you're within five feet. Unless you have. Uh, wait, do you have. Uh, what's your feats? Don't think I got one for that. Then it's just a disadvantage, but you can still cast it. Yeah, I don't see anything. 14. Yeah, no. Very nice. Very nice. I think that's <laughs> it's a 6 and a 7. It wouldn't have mattered either Absolutely way. It's... Go ahead and give me some damage. Oh, did it? Impossible. Ooh, spicy. Very nice, very nice. 13 points additional damage on top of that. What is that? A total of 31 points of damage. Total? Across yeah. The board. Oof, as she's screaming out. <laughs> And then you can then you shoot her basically with a radiant arrow. And she's left with a wound. She does not look great. She's bloodied in the face. She has like a nosebleed if it wasn't for the fact that it's her skin burning off. Very nice. Very nice. Meanwhile, she up. A third one comes to join, and you see her in all her visage. She puts out a lingly long finger claw and touches the tip of your chin. Do you trust us? How do you respond? Of course. <laughs> of course I trust you. You're my friend. Uh -huh. Go ahead and give me a um, deception check. Oof, not that hard be. Ooh, success. He's ours. The others. And you see all three of them immediately take flight. Shh. Heading off. Meanwhile. Go ahead and re-roll. You have to do it all manual, guys. Give me one quick second. There's a weird noise. Let me check something. I'm so glad my deception worked. I did too. I was like, this is where Shio dies. Having a 20 in charisma helps out a lot. Here, one sec. My cats are being really dumb. Sorry about that, guys. I was like, I think it was, but figured it out. All working out. So, with that, without further ado, Runt, you arrive at the front gate of this particular excavation site. You feel the rumbles end, but continue forward. They are no longer immediately in your vicinity. Give me a perception check. Okay. Oof. The doors shiver with a little slight tremble, but you don't hear anything beyond it. Go ahead and give me an initiative. Is and say you guys both need to roll also. Uh, yep.
Well, not much changed. What the hell? 22. Oh, for a second I was like, what is the point? Whatever. <laughs> That's <laughs> random. It's nice because we get to just go at different times. Makes it harder to plan, but it also makes it harder for him to plan, too. Let's say that last part one more time. Oh, it's just harder for us to plan and harder for you to plan. That's why I like oh. it. Gotcha. Oops. Okay. We gotta be adaptive. And with that, Sec, we begin with you. Seg's muted. There you go. Definitely didn't dissociate. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take Iz's advice to let God sort it out and smack her with my mace. That absolutely makes contact. What the heck? How did you do that and it worked? I have no idea. Did this thing restart or something? <laughs> I could cast a few dozen spells at them and see. <laughs> <laughs> on your turn, mine wasn't working, but that's awesome. Okay, well, something still works. So, you absolutely hit. You hit her for four points of damage. She's just like... <laughs> you kind of bat her off to the side. She's still up. She's beaten, but she's still up. Nice. Um, I don't have any bonus actions anymore, so that's that's my turn. I don't feel like leaving. I'm just gonna sit here and kick her ass until she's dead, and then maybe help Geo depending on how things go. Okay. Runt. What do you do with this massive double door before you? I push it open as best I can. <laughs> you, you push and it at first, it like jingles, and then you push again, as odd as it seemed, and wide open. Well, you then should... see two more door or windows open inside the room. In such, are shining out into what looks to be a excavation site, a mine, some sort of. Oh, there's people. <laughs> Vision's really wonky right here, and I do not know why it yeah. doesn't work, so I'm just going to stick it. Because it's right a window? It okay. even work. No, it is so weird. I don't know. I can't figure it out. It's a mathematical error that doesn't make any sense, because you can see them. I'm on a raised level right here. here. It's so weird. Yeah, you're on a raised level, and I still to this day cannot figure out why you, no one can see anyone across that weird angle. Hmm. Okay. You know what um, I'm going to do? I'm going to make this map fully visible because there's nothing to not be seen. So, boom. That should fix it. Boom. You pop out at the balcony and you do see what looks to be a... I don't know. It's weird. You see one person sitting or, or kneeling on the plateau here. And three harpies flying to a fourth harpy that's getting jumped by an Aarakocra. And some glowy something or other on the other side, possibly a fairy. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, what the hell? Uh, did I come across some type of avian mating ritual? <laughs> What's going on out there? Should I avert my eyes? So, you're the first to hear, but you can't respond to your turn. <laughs> um, Runt, you see that's they're like she, the individual Shio that you don't know the name to on the plateau registers you speaking but does not register a response at any immediate moment do you wish to take any action or bonus action otherwise i'm just gonna walk up toward the the guy sitting on the ground if i can so maybe slide uh, so down this ready? hill <laughs> uh yeah you know what i'll let you give me an athletics check okay Yeah, 
you know, bumpy. You land. Maybe not the most pleasant, but you do approach this individual. The harpies are about 25, 20 feet in the air, um, you know, breaking apart, etc. Uh, gently slap this guy on the back. Hey, you all right, fella? <laughs> you may respond now that he's present. Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta deal with this situation first. Uh, okay. I mean, can I see, like, are they attacking anyone, or? Like, are uh, they, are like... The, um, are the harpies... Well, no, they're attacking the harpies in your point of view because the harpy is all bloodied and beat up. Um, okay, <laughs> like, straight up. Like, I mean, the like the this one harpy is all bloodied, like literally on the brink. Like, give me an insight check as you take in the scene of who's who's in what condition. <laughs> she has got some ear bleed going on. Yeah, but it's not from a physical. Oh yeah, you have no clue. But otherwise, yeah, you <laughs> see it plain and simple. Bloody. No one else is bloody. Two students. Four harpies. I, yeah, it's a weird scene, so but that's what you see. Our, I guess my thing is, are harpies um always they evil? Or okay, um, they're not always of anything, but they could be in the nature of aggression. In you know, in a sense of defense, it's an excavation site. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, you're not quite sure. But I, school, you're on the school campus. But wondering. these other people are wearing student robes. Yes, they are absolutely. So, okay. I don't wear clothes, so. <laughs> Chio is All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, just, how, how can I help? I think they're trying to eat us, so we may need to incapacitate them. Uh, okay. <laughs> As you um, state that. Uh, Shio and Runt, you both feel a rumble. <laughs> it travels from here to here. Anything else you wish to do, Runt? Um, I, uh, for now, I will just, uh, Let's say, are, are any of you hurt? I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I will, uh, I'll just, on, on Shio, right? Yeah. That's, okay. Uh, I'll put a, a, a hand on his forehead and say, uh, may the forge make you stronger. And... <laughs> Ooh, nice. Um, Thanks, stranger. It's six points. All right. Um, I guess that's it for now. You got it. You get a brief thank you in your term to stranger. Would you like to introduce your name or no? Oh, uh. If you wish to. He just said stranger, yeah. so you can choose to leave it as is if you want. Oh, well, uh, they call me, uh, they call me Runt. And you may as well. Nice to meet you. I'm Shio. Now, you might want to get off the ground with all these tremors. Something could be under there. Uh, how do you suppose I do that? Hmm. No clue. I can get up on my tippy toes. That might make you fall over faster. We'll have to ask ask is how to help you get in the air. You then hear this one particularly. Turn back and see you both. There's more. What? You see these two hold. What'd they say? There's more and then she tells them to wait. She continues to take an insight check. She gives them this weird baseball-like head nod gesture. And they immediately divert root. Shio, what do you do? I'm going to 
go 20 feet in the air. There we go. And then... I'm going to say that I didn't like having people inside my head. And I'm going to cast Shatter at third level on the group of Harpies. Okay. Ooh, AoE. Con, right? Yeah, they're con. at 20 and 12. So the leader passes with the nat 20. The other two take 15 points of thunder damage as a loud, just earth shattering pow, just echoes off. Runt, you imagine that this could have been the sound you heard and why it reached so far away. But who knows? <laughs> Um, this harpy takes half of that, so that'll be a seven. And these two will make con saves. And they're both in the air still, as they just kind of... <laughs> they recapture their... Uh, aerodynamic balance and continue to fluster away. Any movement for you, Shio? Uh, I'm gonna go join Is and Seg. Give Seg the advantage with melee attack. Okay. And then 30 okay. feet, and then... Runt, you just see yeah. this odd glistening in humanoid individual just flock out their wings that were somehow non obvious before and just hover off to their allies you're still not quite sure who's the evil here uh all right then um see you later i guess <laughs> <laughs> stay safe You see this one? She's like, <laughs> screaming. This one? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Angrily, as if something were coming about, and out of nowhere, just <laughs> this massive, just gargantuan creature just starts barreling through. Uh, Runt, you would see it first, technically, since you're on the ground, as you feel the vibrations just... And you look down, and you see this huge bone nugger. You know it just from the history books. You're a nerd. You totally understand what that is, particularly before you. As it just bolsters off the ground, skyrocketing up, is... As you see this harpy just... This creature just bursts between you and your party. <sighs> Chomping on it. You could still see her within just being dragged like a gravity prison that she can't outweigh. <laughs> Straight to do the I... <laughs> He entered the beam. Do I get to do damage? <laughs> Absolutely. Is it a save that I make, actually? Uh, yes, I think it's going to be con. Let me just link it again. You got it. As what was it, Moonbeam? That or? harpy is a D E A D. I don't think she would have made it to the next turn anyway. <laughs> nope. She was on her last feather. There's the final pluck. There we go. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. I'll just keep linking it, just not use the spell slot. Make it easy. You're good. That's perfect. Uh, making the cons a... Oof. I mean, this creature gets hit by it, but it's so big 
and it's so bony and basic that you just kind of just like in the motion of what it was doing it probably didn't feel it but it definitely got hit by it if that makes any immediate sense going forward it might make more reaction but it got its quick meal let's just put it that way oh do you think it's a feeding pit if it is we need to get out of here <laughs> I, mean, I don't it's, think it's... students would be a very good food source for these animals i think it'll eat anything is this um black circle the entire beam yeah. with no it's technically five feet. Yeah, that's five. I think feet that's feet. the light it it emits. Point. Yeah. Is it going to be more than one square, or is it just one five square radius? No, it's five. It's five squares. It's the. It's the. It's the. It's the basically, hold. Let me go back. To it's a radius, so it would be. Yeah. All these. I mean, things. isn't the whole party in it? Oh, I. I thought that was valid just the light. Point. No, valid point. I would have moved Valid it over one point. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Is you blasted your entire team? <laughs> and Miss Ready on the rules that says five feet. Where I'm from, that's a radius, one. not diameter. Yeah, it does say yeah. five foot radius. Yeah, it does clarify that. Very good point. Very valid. Um, yeah, I will allow Seg and Shio to make a save next turn. But we'll then say that the Naga took nothing because Shio still passed through it. Seg didn't actually. Shio will have to make a save. Um, but otherwise, you guys would be good. But then the Naga also wouldn't have taken that damage if you want to retract it that way. Yeah. What, okay. the one that was here? Well, the because technically you can move the Moonbeam. So oh, yeah. Yeah. You, if you wanted to say you moved it, after you know upon ca you know upon casting to redirect it then i'll skip the initial damage you guys would have took she will make a safer passing through it oh yeah i definitely move that okay yeah Done deal. Uh, I, okay. there's definitely a better target i can't select it though I'm trying to were you able to grab it oh yeah i can where do you want to move it oh just center it on these guys how far can you move it let's see uh... 60 feet. Wow. All right. So when the beginning of the turn, yeah. they'll take damage. Yep. You got it. They're just like... <sighs> as they, like, screech Look out. Look into the light. Sizzling on them. Uh, right, you just see this, like, spotlight moving across, just burning away at these enemies. You're not... You have... I don't know. I mean, you could decide what it is you want, but it is a really confusing <laughs> fucking scene you just walked into. I just see yeah, some bird ladies bursting into white flames. Yeah. Bone nugget here. It's a disaster. We are, we are terrible people. We yell <laughs> that. So is you then star form archer the naga? Yeah, might as well. I think that's the exact same I rolled last time. You fire. Shatters against the bone. The debris falls. Uh, but this guy or this guy? So oh, bad. I had the harpy. Like... Sorry, the harpy or the naga? I said naga. You said harpy. This. Harpy. So My bad. Sorry. My bad. Harpy does. Mix it up. My people in the head. Shot the center one. Yeah, the furthest from. You got it. That one hits. You just see like a arrow stab her, like go straight through her back at the really, and then just this this part. She's just like, ah! She looks back and there's just like this burn scar across her back. There it is, there it is. You know, uh, is that another student? You shouldn't be here. Every time there's another person, they end up dead. Yeah, we need to take him out of here. Uh, I think we shouldn't be here either. Besides. <laughs> Well, couldn't we use the harpies in the spell that we need? Like, they don't have to be willing, and they have magic. You want, to, you want to feed living creatures to the maw that is the machine? You're heartless. It was your but idea. I like to cut your gym. <laughs> if I was willing to sacrifice innocent students to make a gun. This how is this move? 
I I mean, I you're perfectly the moral center over there. I mean, they tried to kill us first, so it's fine. Yeah. They tried to kill us first. Well, Just why didn't anybody say anything? Because you antagonize people till they attack us, like shooting them. <laughs> finger guns. But I'm gonna try to like make shooing motions to the other guy at the ground that is there. I mean, he's on the ground, and there's that thing. I told him to get up in the air. Also, we I told him is do you know how to get up and hit him up in the air? What? Do you know how to get him up in the air? Ah, uh, no. Die. I mean, I was trying to figure out a way to get you to fly. I could already fly. <laughs> I don't think you can hear me, Shio. You better go save him. Right, you were free to respond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say I, I can't hear them over the, uh, you the got it. burning the screeching. You yeah. got it. <laughs> With that, we got one harpy who has to make a save. Here, I'll go ahead and roll the damage. It's an 11. It's a fail. So let me take all of it. And it's enough to shoot one. Oh, nope. Just kidding. I lied to you in every possible way. I was reading the skill and I wouldn't move it out of the way. Cause it's been stuck. Boom. Okay, I was just reading that. I'm done. Uh, you see the series. <laughs> And she just quickly <laughs> departs from the group. I don't think they'll be coming back. All right. Let's get that next mission. Wait, are you doing initiative again? Yeah, it's like technically it's three roll initiative every round, and it's automated, but due to the uh, the hiccups in technology today, it's back to normal. Anyway, it's not working. You guys aren't seeing initiatives being rolled, right? Uh, I see. Rolled mine. No, yep, I'm good. Is, but not like mine, right? You don't see like no. a bunch of dice rolling. No. All I see is us, and then they don't get a turn, which I actually approve of. Yeah. I like this turn of events. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to have to roll it manually. That's a 17 plus 3. So that's a 20 for the Naga. Okay, we got some more folks. And I'll just do one for the Harpy since they're in a little posse right now. There's is a oops, that's modifier. Wow, we're slow. I don't know why I feel like they should be quicker creatures. I guess if they're dicks. Um, Eleven. Okey doke. So, with that, it looks like they do go last. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, da, 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 is we begin with you. Say you didn't roll. Oh, the chance that, that... that they could go last. Yeah, that explains oh, a lot. Yep. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. well, doesn't matter. Got to keep it in the row. All right. So, is this a monstrosity right here? Is it like near the ground? Am I above it? Is it you just staring really me in the eyes? Above it. It is staring up at you all in a gander. You can give me a intelligence check to see if you know it's a monstrosity or not. Oh, I just called it that. I don't actually oh, know if it is. It. You mean you, you were just referring to the monstrosity, the creature? Yeah, and you said roll what? Yeah. Uh, if you want to identify what it is, you can roll an intelligence. But if you don't mind, if you don't care, then you don't have to roll. Oh, I do. It just I don't know what it is in game. Oh, that's fine. Then roll. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it's knows. It is absolutely undead. This thing is, yeah, is just undead. 
Oh, wow. It's like a thing from the past coming back to life to haunt my dreams. On the Lorehol campus. This is so weird. <laughs> Completely normal. <laughs> um, if I... Is it in range? Um, if I move away, will it attack? Type deal? Or will I kind of guess that? You, uh, at about 30 feet difference. Oh, I'm going to back away from this guy. Okay. Yeah, I'll go there. And let's go this one. Sorry, a little slow. That is the third 14. You are on a 14 streak, sir. I am. All right. And, any dice with that? You absolutely hit it because you've already hit it on the other two. Well, things can change. I always ask. <laughs> Yeah, uh, fire for six points of damage at the one with the lead, right? The one that took off. Yes. And yep. hits the ground hard. Down and out. Runt, that is the second one you've seen them kill. Though it does look to now be in a survival survive solo kind of thing. It's it's still baffling, but present nonetheless. Guess are we gonna try to kill the giant um undead snake monster thing that ate the bird person? It's undead? I think so. It has no flesh. Oh wait, no, that's not what I'm... <laughs> Or are we just I gonna mean... try to run away? I mean why not try and destroy it, right? I mean we're all pretty high health. We I think isn't always an option later. We don't know if that's our job here, though. What if he's studying the Naga and we ruin his entire thesis? Then maybe he shouldn't have lured us into a trap. Yeah, I'll fire it. It belongs in a museum. What? Well, they can oh, I've got you there. They can put its bones in a museum once I'm done unaliving it again. Uh, would a 21 hit? Uh, who are you shooting at? Sorry. The bow naga this time. The actual... Yes. You do. Oh, right. Wow. That is a powerful hit. <laughs> Stop making fun of it. <laughs> Roll three ones. But the important bit is the next person to attack gets advantage. It glows. Ooh. All right, I set you guys up for success. Anyway, hi, new guy. You know you're in intimate danger. You guys see it moving around. It's getting closer. You should be concerned. It takes a big <laughs> breath, and you guys see this weird glowing substance from within produce. Ah, uh, breath weapon. <laughs> as you guys just see this tiny bolt <laughs> like a mock cannon fire at runt and it is looks like a uh, passes half damage yeah it is what do we got I'm back. He's back. Right, what about... Got him again. <laughs> a dex. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> you somehow do like the Matrix backflip as it tingles you for only half the damage. <laughs> God. Oh, run. welcome to the Strixhaven Academy. <laughs> yeah. We all die in one hit here. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. 
We are rocket tag masters for sure. Hold on. We lost them. 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 Teach us a race from history. He's gone. <laughs> I mean, I did tell him he was in danger, so I mean, I'm I'm good. What the? Yeah, good good Samaritan just warns. Did your character people. get deleted, Run? Uh, I'm here. Oh, I'm still there. Gone. Wait, I am so. Tired. I'm in it right now. What the heck? Okay, can you roll me or can you edit your health for me? Because I can't access. I can't access it. I don't see. All right. Anyways, take out points. 15. Wait, thank you, sir. Uh, as is takes 15 and such, it's just like. <sighs> as it cries out in anguish and then. There's a link. It then. Oh, um. I'm oh. trying to get familiar with stuff. Uh. Can I use like absorb elements on that? Sure. Okay. Um, so I'll capture some of the incoming energy. Okay. So da -da 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 -da, go ahead. I think you just roll, right? It's not like an actual attack into it. Um, you have resistance to tripping damage. Do I just take half again? Of... Yeah, so you take half of the 15. Uh, so you would take only 7 points, and you'd absorb 7 for if you wanted to repurpose Okay. Attack. That's how it works, right? Or you just do an extra d6 of damage, because you can't do it as other purposes. But, yeah. Okay. So you, take, you would just heal for 7, I guess, technically. All right. I took care of that. All right. Perfect. Uh, you guys, how would you describe you, you display this runt? What's your method um, for form of? I, uh, I just throw up my shield and then slam my mace into the ground to try to like transfer some of the electricity into the ground and then through my mace. Okay. You got it. You guys just see this like quick display, or is you specifically see this quick display <laughs> as Runt kind of shields some of the damage as it passes over him and goes over you. And it's because of him that you were able to be so quicker in reflex. You'll thank him later, I'm sure. You're a polite guy. Shio, you see the Naga take to those on the ground. I don't like that lightning ability so i'm gonna ca i'm gonna take a bonus action to, to use my ability guarded which will give me resistance to lightning and then i'm gonna say let's try to beat it then i guess since that's what we're doing and i want to get 120 feet away from the creature oh. and then so i don't know how far that would be but if I need to... Yeah. So, we'll say you're flying because you're in the air, and you go to the other side of the field, really. Oh, goodness. Uh... She was running away. <laughs> oh, wait. I can go 100 feet away from it, not 120. So, 100 feet would be... Oh, right at the wall. Perfect. Right here. Oh, there we go. And then I'll use my ability that if I... Here, I'll just put it in the chat. There we go. Oh, wait. I already used my bonus action. All right, that, that's correct. Then that's my full turn. You got it. Um, that's a great question, is... Did you fly down to him? To run when you arrived? Gone. Is this like a pocket void? Yeah. Oh, uh, my mic was muted. I'm like, why, why is there phone? <laughs> okay, that's why. Uh, yes, I was still at 30 feet. I just flew straight over. Got oh, okay. I don't think the laser missed. beam. Yeah. 
Oh, I wasn't going to ask. I assumed it was a uh, giant Super Saiyan beam. <laughs> yeah, it was a regular one. It just went it went the distance, but it was like a focused beam. So I reverted your damage. You're good. Uh, all right. Shio, you guys see Shio flee because that's what Shio does. Either that or he goes unconscious. So, hey, you saw a little difference today. Runt, what do you do in the hmm. course of this events that have occurred now? Um... I uh, I am gonna say, <clears throat> for protect me, and I cast protect from evil and good on myself, and then I'm going to slam my mace into my shield repeatedly as I run up on this naga thing. <laughs> you got it. You just bolts in. And I'm gonna brace brace uh my flank on the on the wall. You got it. You set yourself up and you go for it. So are you going in? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Well, I mean <laughs> that was my action. Oh, so uh, you can actually attack after never mind. God anticipate. Yeah, just protect from good and evil and then it, I'm, it reads like I'm I when I I didn't read it right. Sorry. I felt like it sounded like a bonus action. But very beautiful. Uh, you guys see a gladiator charge forward with no fear, unlike the lot of you. Seg. Oh, I worry about his survival skills. <laughs> Seg, uh, should we stay and help or, you know, like, start writing his obituary? Get down here, you flying pansies. <laughs> I... I'm still a little butthurt about accidentally killing that orcery. I'm sticking around to fight it because I know I'm not getting in trouble for killing this thing. But if y'all need to hang back, that's cool. I mean, I'll be fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're still going to get yelled at. We get yelled at for everything. Save the day, get in trouble. Don't we save the day, it. get in trouble. <laughs> we kill it, get in trouble. Don't kill it, we get in more trouble. Yeah. Right? We may as well kill it. Okay. Said, can you? <laughs> well, <laughs> that I am. I'm running low on uh, spell slot, but I do have something that might be helpful. Has that advantage been used yet? It has, right? No. Wait. Oh, you're. No. It hasn't. No, no it hasn't. hasn't. Oh. Would that advantage transfer to turn undead? No. Okay. Then I guess it doesn't matter. But that's that's what I'm gonna do. I thought it was gonna make me roll something. Hold on. Oh, it makes a saving throw. Okay. So, just out of curiosity, does that take extra damage from Radiant? Mm, no. Okay. Some undead do, some don't. Some, I'll just uh, yeah, this one doesn't. It doesn't. It actually just has immunities. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, what is it? A con? Sorry. Oh, wisdom, actually. Ooh, that's really good wisdom. Hmm. Um, I yeah, I think it's a hit and miss, right? Yeah, it's hit or miss. Boom. You cast it and it'll just... Just kind of acknowledges such effect to try to be pulled upon it. Anything else? I don't think I have anything else. You got it. You it got doesn't it. have uses next to it, though. Are you trying to identity? Yeah. Um, I think, I think at you your level... Of uses based on your 
skill or your level in that class. Yeah, I think you have two at the moment, Seg. Oh uh, yeah, see, it's the channel oh, yeah. divinity in your spell sheet. It's in the middle box under effects. It shows you your channel divinities. Okay. Cool. So I can do it one more time. Mm, yeah. Worth a shot. But yeah, that's my thing. You got it. Are the harpies uh, considered gun? Uh, roll me that damage and let's find out. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they just flew off. Well, since you roll that kind of damage, I gotta roll save now. The con, right? Yes. Gone. And alive. So one survives. I'm perfectly fine with that. Just try. Latest like Never show your face before us. Else. <laughs> you gotta leave <laughs> one to tell under tell. His breath, far in the corner, away from combat, safe and sound. Yeah, that thing's gonna eat me next. <laughs> Everyone, you roll your dice, please, for initiative. I'll fix the thing so the next session everything will be automated again. I don't know what's happening, but uh, updates. They always get us. Is there a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, you can drag out the encounter thing and roll there, Kane. Yep. Yeah. Mm, it's not detaching. Or click on it, sorry, if it doesn't work. You should be able to just press like a button. You could also yeah. right click combat encounters to pop it out. But mine wasn't working either, so I don't know. Maybe it's a couple of us that are bugged. So I had to do mine pretty manual. Oh, this is new. <laughs> Ping combat. The what? Oh, there's just new features and boundary. Oh. There's quite a few things you'll run into. All right. Seg is Runt. We begin with the three of you. With the three of you together in this situation, Seg, you witness Runt charging forth bravely, as is shows concern. You do what you do best and supervise. How do you continue to do so? You might be muted. Oh, now you're low. You're unmuted, but now you're low. Does anyone else hear him low? Or am I tripping? Yeah, he's very quiet. Yeah, I'm very quiet. You're good oh, now. There you go. Now you're back. Okay, good. I was muted in my brain as well. I took in zero information. But I think I thought something along the lines of our fearless person over here is being brave. Yes. Your new, I guess, teammate in some visual understanding um, is throwing themselves forth before this enemy very bravely with little chance or concern, at least it would seem as such. Would you say you have a hmm. concerned look on your face, um, Runt? Not at all. He's okay. owning it. Yeah, he's, he's with <laughs> it, man. And maybe don't know the concern for bystanders. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like normie shit. I don't know. Either he's in on it or this man just don't give a damn. Yeah. Either way, I respect <laughs> him. <laughs> Alright. And I'm not allowed I'm not about to let him get all the glory. So I'm gonna move just a little bit closer and I'm going to try turn on dead one more time. 
You bring yourself closer to this creature. This, this undead being in which you yet again try to reach into its mind. Make it perceive itself as something other. And you succeed. Hell yeah. It's dead. It's so gone. <laughs> Fuck the bone snake. Dang, there's no Satan. How is this, how is this visually mm -hmm. portrayed? That's what I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Hold on. <laughs> well, technically, it's on its turn. Uh, so, so it's on its turn. You guys don't see anything until its turn comes necessarily. As you, um, Seg, how do you you bring forth your symbol and you what exorcise it with your with your glare or what do you give across? Well, I unfurl my wings all the way because that's where my religious tattoos are, and I just shout, "Eat lightning, God." Is that, is that a code word for something? <laughs> I don't think it was part of the code is. As, so. Ow. As you call that off, you see the bone naga kind of just like pull back as if as if they had a, uh, um, a, a covered skin to their carcass. You, you'd imagine like a nose twitch. But this is like a such a lifeless, odd cobra kind of serpent trance look toward you does the head withdrawal like it like it pulls back in a rear <laughs> oh yeah but otherwise until its turn comes i don't have to move yet well it has to die on its turn i hope this girl i'm dead well we'll see Does it get a resave every turn? No, it doesn't. It's just for a minute. That's why I was like, what? Oh, no. Must Orange take takes some away, damage. And he can't only move at three feet. Sports action can use one dash to try to escape from that. Prevent it. If yeah, it just says I could keep running. For a whole minute, you just run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm kind of... Or until it takes any it. damage, did he tell us? Did he tell you what? Sorry. Oh, not to hurt it? No, absolutely not. He's over here no. just doing his thing. You know, you know, you guys, you guys don't communicate. Come on. You might want to tell us. You know, <laughs> don't nuke it. Don't nuke it? Mm hmm Well, it's oh. turned right now, but if I hurt it, then it's not turned. Oh, is that how that works? If it's not turned by its turn, then destroy undead doesn't apply? It's I don't not know destroy that. undead, it's turn undead. Yeah, you just turned it. You didn't destroy undead. Oh, That's a well, skill hold on. Completely. Well, but you right here it says this. when an undead fails at saving throw yeah, against your turn undead PC. CR. But I highly doubt it has to, I highly doubt you're in that CR range. It's like half a CR or something. Um, I think it's like half your level oh. in CR. Now that I'm not as high and reading it, it makes more sense. Well, that was a waste of my. Uh... This is the best kind. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering. Now it's scared of you, and it can't do its action to do anything else. That was really helpful. So let us know. Be like, look out, it's fear or something. <laughs> and you can pass it along so at least we don't, you know. Yeah, I'm just going to shout, like, yeah, you better run, you bone snake bitch. <laughs> Oh, so I don't so, feel like I would explain we, it, but context clues. Are we supposed to let it go then? I thought we wanted to kill it. Well, I mean, look how scared it well, is. If it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, we blow it up. So your current level <clears throat> seg, just so you're aware, at seventh level, you can auto destroy half CR or lower. At 8th level, it's 1. 11th, it's 2. 14th, it's 3. And 17th is 4. If you were 17th level, you'd be able to affect this bone naga in the way you intended. Got it. Otherwise, I'd have to actually use the destroy undead. Yeah, in that yeah. Feature. Good to know for the future. I'll just take the L on that one for me. Oh, you didn't have a choice, but 
I appreciate you being a champ about it. <laughs> Is what do you do? Well, uh, I'm gonna move my beam of infinite doom right here. So if it runs away, he gets nuked. Okay. You I mean, I guess if it runs away away from us. Ping it again so I can move it for you. Yeah, just right here. Spotlight on. Doo -doo. Wait, that's it's the purple thing. That's something else. I think that's my shatter. Yeah. There we go. You see part of its bones just in the spotlight. I think he it wants it up, up half a yeah. half a square. Yeah, that way it covers here and here. Uh, I think it is a little less precise, but you know, because you, you have a book published, I'll honor. I'll honor it. <laughs> Oh, I don't want it over it. I don't want to do damage on its turn. So, it's literally in this guy. Oh, that's where it was. It was there. It's just when I move yeah. it, it does. It changes the there you go. thing. So ah, there it is. It's like inaccurate. So, yeah, sorry. It wasn't. It's not me. Perfect. It's the beard. Um, nonetheless. Okay. Um, upward. I guess I'll sit over here. I'm going to fly behind cover in case it death rays me. You got it. Good luck. And try not to get eaten. Runt, you go in wildly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> quivering in my boots a bit, but as a fellow cleric, I think I know that uh, he used uh, Turn on Dead. Correct. So I'm just going to say, All right, you flying pensies, get out of here. Run, fly away. And then... Uh, can I? I'd like to try to climb. Uh, to I can't. I don't know how to ping. Was it middle click? Press and hold. Click and hold. It's not native. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I just want to get here if so I can. You can scramble up. Give me an athletics check to see if you lose more movement than necessary. Yeah, it takes more movement than necessary as you slip a boot. Uh, you probably use 20 of your 30 feet. Oh, I have 20. I'm 25 feet. I'm just kidding. Dwarf. So you have five feet left as you arrive yep. just at the cusp. It was okay. a struggle. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to be uh, up here and um, I'll use the uh, dodge action like as to prepare for any incoming attacks. You got it. Sounds good. And that's it. So. Time to check something real quick. Okay. It rears up, goes right into the light as it goes to retreat behind it. Uh, it makes a con save. Go ahead and roll me that damage. Is. D10. Man, average. Right on the bar. Not too shabby. As you guys hear this massive streak. <sighs> oh no. It turns its head. It's the turning was canceled. But the field. Who does it think is its best time? Looks immediately to its hard right. Makes eye contact with Runt. <sighs> Hurls itself straight up the, the side of it and comes in for a clasp. You see these massive maw. There's nothing other than the visage you already see behind it because it's completely hollow. What will happen to you if it bites into you? 
you do not know. But now um, it would be disadvantage. Disadvantage. Sorry. One second. What? What's your AC? Uh, AC? Twenty-one. Oh, okay, it misses. You like? How would you say you block it? As it tries to like, I just its maw. smash it in the nose with my shield as it comes up. Back it away, just ding! It's just like, <laughs> da, da. <laughs> it holds its position. Shit, far, far away, you find yourself witnessing everyone bravely duking it out upon this naga. How? My spells are all gone. Hold on, I, I need to figure out how to get my spells back. Like, what do you mean? Like, all my spells disappeared from uh from my character are sheet. You in the search filter. Did you type in a search word? Yeah, make sure you don't have any of the little bar selected, like bonus. Oh. Action. Got it. That was the problem. Yeah, I lost all mine that way, and I'm like, wait, there they are. I'm going to Eldritch Blast. hits you uh grunt you see just this beam just hit the side of this naga give me the damage almost max nice not bad 14 points as you see just bash into the wall and then a second one to follow up with it Seven points. Nice. You see some bones rattle and fall loose. <laughs> Falling like debris into the dirt below. Anything else, Shio? I'm going to get a little bit closer and then go further up. So that's 10. I'm going to go up 50 feet. 250 feet. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. You have to push enter. There you go. Okay. And I'm just kind of observe it, make sure that everyone's doing all right. And you got it. I will go ahead and reroll your initiative. Wow. Looks like Chio's really doing the observation over here. He's really watching. He's watching so well that he's ahead of you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Chio's back. There we go, Ron. I didn't leave. <laughs> Did you bring the reinforcements? <laughs> I wasn't sure. What reinforcements? We don't have friends. Oh, that's right. They all died. Or left us for rehab. Yeah. Mostly rehab. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, I mean, it was not my fault. Nah, it was, he had a problem. Is that the canonical answer for the people that left they went to oh just one actually just <laughs> yeah. rehab and therapy yeah, yeah he was <laughs> he was addicted to drugs oh man he was on so much it is can you give me i'm like yes <laughs> yeah when you say an elephant on drugs you don't actually think a real elephant on drugs but he was so <clears throat> runt you find yourself face to face with the creature in which you already braced yourself to combat with. And now you find yourself truly in the moment. I, uh, just do a, give him a good old bonk and say, get back, you bony bastard. As I figure out how to use my warhammer. <laughs> You nice. figure it out pretty well as you just come swinging. You bust one of its uh, one of the bones that are like making the slit of the nose now. It looks like just one massive opening as it chips off. Ooh, roll a nice one. Nonetheless, a nose chip is gone. 
Mm. Come on, you flying pansies, get down here. And then I end my turn. Oh, we don't really get close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're long range. The people who got close left. <laughs> yeah. We're rooting oh, for you, sorry. though. There you go. Shoot. It's on you. You just see Runt man up and throw themselves upon it, making contact. It still stands. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do Eldritch Blast it again. Good old trusty Eldritch Blast. You fire beam from across the way. Guess not Missed. good and trusty. <laughs> Some of the, um, you know, brick or adobe break off debris down. You throw like two beams? Yeah, and then the second beam flies. As you see more shards fly everywhere. It still stands. Dang. It's like you witness this thing just taking a beating from your allies and new friend. I don't know. If, I don't think there's anything else I can do this turn. Uh, yep, that's, that's it for me. It's up to you, Sag. You got this, Sag. Don't let him die. That'll be like number 14 on the count of people we couldn't save. <laughs> You're muted, by the way. Who? I am muted. Oh, Sag. It is. You can't I, say I, that I, out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's in a record somewhere. Let's let's make sure it doesn't get into a record. <laughs> oh yeah, can I get your name so I can add it to the tally? I mean, not tally. Oh, archaeologist guy. I yeah. Just da -da -da -da. So Seg, what do you find yourself doing as you see this bone on the? Well, I was going to do ice storm, but. It seems like we're friendly towards this guy now, and I don't want to be caught up on it. So instead, I'm going to. Uh... It's been 10 minutes, right? Since? Uh, since we entered the door at the beginning. Don't think so, actually. In what justification? Shield of Faith. Oh, I you... could have dropped. Yeah, it lasts 10 minutes. Mm. I'll give it the last round. Oh. Don't give me choices. All right. Then. Oh, this is a really bad idea. Wait a minute. Just kidding. I, I'm going to do something that I have been joking with Shield about for a while. Are you going to shoot him? And... Are you going to oh, shoot me? Not Chia. I am going to take one of my uh, palm pistol bullets and catapult it. Okay. What? So that'll be like, what's, a, the, what's the pistol damage without the modifier? Oh, does catapult give it its own damage, right? It gives it 2d8 or something, or d8 or something? Yeah, catapult is its own thing, but yeah. it's a 3d8 bludgeoning damage, but it says I can't use catapult. You have to target it. It is targeted. Oh. Didn't you say you were out Weird. on spell slots? Oh, you yeah, make sure you don't. Well, catapult. When did you use it earlier? Catapult is... Oh, you've well, already used you your used one use. Before. Yeah. Oh, I've already used it? I don't remember before using it. Well, in that rest. case... Yeah. I'm... going to get a little further away. Come help me. We all leave. <laughs> We're going to go check on our friend, a uh, uh, guy. Okay, bye, new guy. <laughs> Good luck. 
No, I'm going to get a little further away and drop Shield of Faith to cast Call Lightning. You got it. I'm going to cover as much of the battlefield as possible with it. <laughs> Everyone dies. <laughs> Just explodes. You guys, and then, you guys see yeah. a storm brew from above. What? That's it. Um, sixty foot it... radius. Holy shit! Oh yeah, no, it's a <laughs> whole, it's a whole uh, thunderstorm. I think it strikes. That's the first turn. Uh, let me see. Uh, when you cast a spell, choose a point you can see under the cloud. A bone lightning flashes down from the cloud and lands at that point. I don't see the rest. It's like I, I think it's like really blurry. Something, something about the creatures. They absorb it. They get stronger. <laughs> if they hit you, they. What is that? Three D ten lightning. Yeah. Okay. I kind of like this spell. Actually, it's starting to clear up for me. Yes, you may uh, call it down lightning strength. tree flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Yazandri. The Yazandrio. Yeah, that was pretty wild. <laughs> get struck by lightning. All right, I'm done, guys. Let's go. <laughs> I'm bored. Does it? Sure I was toasty. That is a deck save. Let me check. And you can still roll the damage. That is a fail. Oh, disintegrate him. How do you get a critical hit on something you don't roll for? I'm a little new to D&D. It just... Do you? Or what do you mean? Sorry. Yeah. It gives well, you the option. I, yeah, yeah, every time I click damage, it gives me I don't you see how that makes sense. Choice, yeah. It doesn't oh, differentiate. Okay. It just thinks damage is damage and then offers you to crit it. <laughs> oh, all right. Fair enough. Then, yeah. Um, hmm. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, you, you a, a blast of lightning comes down. Did you, for fun, shoot it in front of Runt because you want him to roll two, or you shot it at the back of the Naga so that Runt was safe? I, I was gonna, I, I was gonna make him roll for it just to you know show him we mean business. But everybody seems really supportive of him, so I'm gonna not make him roll. So yeah, I'm gonna hit like right here. Yeah, someone's finally doing something at this goal besides us. <laughs> I know. You make a point. You make a fair point. Uh, it's a lot more than any of you guys did when you first walked in. So, um, hey, we defeated that mimic. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was a real challenge. Um, as that <laughs> lightning comes, I killed down, someone earlier today. We do things. Run, you see this naga just <sighs> and bone after bone start clattering down the side of this little cliff hill tumbling into a pit. Hmm. It is done. Oh, it just disappeared. Combat is over. It fell down here, basically. Oh. Oh, cool. When, it, when I oh, delete collect the bits. It dies. Um, as it fell, let me just do a little freehand try real quick. This thing. Oops. We'll say that's the debris. There you go. A little bit of plume damage right there. Um, you guys see a, a you know a pile of bones of the Naga. You see three dead harpies here, here, and down here. And one got away. Three of you are flying. Runt, you witness the final blow come from a loose bone, though you're not sure if the lightning blast had anything to do with it or not. Congratulations, Seg. You kill it. How do you all react as you see it tumbling into a pit below? Understanding that the sense of threat is over. Now the concern of what the whole purpose of being here is or was. Everyone okay? In the hole? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. The <laughs> laser beam missed me and shot the new guy. 
Speaking oh, of, I still gotta write your name in the book of people who are probably gonna die. Is, What's your name? No, that, that's bad luck. But I mean, he's around us. I mean, it's very probable. Uh... Well, I can't tell you what my my real name is because I'm not even sure. But uh, people call me Runt. Runt. Okay. And I just want to let you know you're already beating the record of people who live around us. Most people die within the first three minutes. <laughs> uh, well, good to know that I'm on the right side of the bell curve. Not usually oh, yeah. by our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Things just kind of find us. Yeah. What, what, what year are you in? Uh, I will be starting my second year soon. Oh, nice. We're second years yeah. too. How good are you at magic? I like to think I'm pretty good. I mean, a lot of people come to the school of magicians and they don't know magic. I found it weird. But uh, how about large uh, rituals? Are you good at those? Mm, I don't know about large rituals. I've done a couple of rituals in my day. I've dealt the sum at the, the Temple of the Forge. Um I mean, what constitutes large? I mean, we, we had about, uh, we had like the, the headman and uh, about 12 orphans work in a ritual. Is that is that large? I uh, the ritual we were working on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sig, could you check his criminal record? Uh, I have no uh, criminal record. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, yeah, I'll remember that. No, I have no criminal record either, but I owe thirty million gold to the mobs. You know, things happen. Thirty million? I don't remember the number. You think I do math? That's the easiest thing. What did you steal from them? <laughs> did you steal their hopes and dreams? No, I destroyed those. <laughs> I don't or something. I wasn't paying attention. Typical so, sig. But anyway. So this why dog... are you here, uh, Ron? Well, you all are making so much damn noise. I was you... just down the way studying. Did you come mm -hmm. all the way over here to tell us to quiet down? See, I uh, told you we were going to get yelled at. <laughs> we always get yelled at. I have heard I just, a bunch of screeching and rumbling and yelling. Uh... Do you know how close you are to the library area? <laughs> I know I probably should, but no. Yeah, he, he actually attends this campus. Or will be. I'm supposed to be attending this campus. Our situational uh, awareness is not the best. Yeah. But what do we do with this Naga? Is there any useful parts? Or from the Harpies? I don't know. Like to pick up the skull if it's in one piece or the biggest piece of it. Yeah, I mean, you could try to. It's quite large. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. You go Should we bring in the harpies? Is there a reward? Check. Uh, okay. Let me know if you need a hand. Is will give you a hand. You see Run just deadlift this thing like it's nothing. Are you part of the Iron Lifter Society? Ah, uh, no, so I, I'm actually quite weak. You would know that the Iron Lifters is the weightlifting like premium club here. I'm not I, I wanted to join them, but I wasn't allowed. Well I have to I well I, I was I was born with some issues and the only way I can hardly walk is with these uh, these gauntlets I got. Oh, now you guys take it in. Go ahead and describe what you look like. I'm I'm uh, actually I'm short even for a dwarf. Uh, I barely have anything of a beard, just a couple you know wisps on my cheeks and um, very thin. Uh, uh, you might not be able to see underneath all the robes and everything, but. I'm like a very, very small, thin 
<laughs> sad looking dwarf. But uh, the only the reason I can lift these, and I'll see. <clears throat> the only reason I'm able to do anything really is with these these gauntlets I made with uh, the help of my my uncle. Oh, uh, they help augment my strength. Pretty so, awesome. Yeah, iron lifters wouldn't let me in. Um, my, I didn't really earn you know the strength. It's it was built, and I I wear it. If I take it off, I might nearly collapse. Oh, yeah, I'm upset at them anyway. They said I wasn't putting enough reps, but check out this physique. Is will flex. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go it's is. Bad. It ain't bad, but it's not like overly impressive. You could see. I mean, I'm the size about... of. I'm the size if of a talking... cat. Come on. <laughs> if we're talking about like a percentage of, of uh, body weight, then I mean, what can you handle? Uh normal humanish stuffs, but not like all of it. I mean, that sounds impressive if you're, you know, that size. I know. But everyone calls me weak. That's why I punch them when I'm a gorilla. That sense. You're a tough little leather bird. Please. Kind of like a, an, an army ant. You know, they pick up like a hundred times their body weight. Can you oh. do that, Is? Have I been carrying your bag for nothing? No. I wish a uh, hundred times? Oh. You guys hear That's not fair. Hi. Hey. Hey. Who are you in my arena? You guys just hear this ambient voice. There's no visual to the voice yet as it's very uh, surround sound. <laughs> Great. Now we're going to get yelled at, even though we should be praised. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to carry the, the skull in front of me and like point it toward the source and then like wiggle the the jawbone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And you are? Yo, can I step into the skull that he's carrying and help him lift it up and then also cast Thaumaturgy? <laughs> okay. So, like, good. make make its eye sockets glow instead of my own. Okay. So you and lay in its eye sockets as you do that, and it's like, fun trick. I'll use it as decoration. Are you all answering Gromshaw's ad? Yeah. Well, we were, and then we accidentally killed a bone thing. Who it attacked first. my place? It didn't look like this yesterday. It was real nice, like. Like an obstacle course of things. Oh, oh that, that was the hard sure wasn't how it was. I swear I only saw one explosive. You set off explosives in my workspace? Well, not really. I just called lightning. It didn't explode that much. All it did was kill the bone thing. For a bird, he sure is good at digging his own grave. Shut up, Shio. You can't even resist a harpy song. I find it real odd you'd answer an ad and then destroy the field before I arrive. Self-defense is all you. It was the message the said I'd be there real soon. Just don't touch nothing. Technically, well, it touched us. Exactly. It you didn't say that, that in the message. It just gave directions and that we had to go here. I'm pretty certain it was in the message. I mean, I have it right here if you want to look. Where are you? Also, I'm... this place was destroyed when we got here. I'm everywhere. Fourth year. Oh. Grumshaw's the name, stone's the game. Any stone you see, I'm most likely nearby. You get this weird, uncomfortable feeling. Wait, do students become part of the school when they get to fourth year? I'm 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 concerned, Shia. I mean technically Only in the you could, could but you don't have to. Really. You can go your own way after, but you just kind of find a reason to stay. Sounds like a curse. Well, I decided I'm going to leave after I finish here. But I gotta enjoy all the stone I can before I leave. 
stuff here. You best stay away from my family, Stones. Right. <laughs> right. I think you misunderstand the idea of it, but I'll accept those terms of non threatened no verbiage, my friend. You must be a tiny New Year. Uh, well, I mean, I've ended my first year. Whoa. Coming into my second. Nation's making it this far, man. I thought the little lizard thing had no chance, but he has wings. That goes a pretty far way in survival tactics. Hmm. Well, I like to keep my feet on the ground. Right. Makes it easier for me to target you, you know? You're like the kind I like to punch. But way to go, man. Red flag. Made it to your second year. That's great. Are you a Laurel student? Uh... That I am. Whoa. Then I like gotta make you my little bro. Mm. Uh I have enough siblings, thank you. Oh man. I didn't mean like really. Anyways. I'll go easy on you because you're a lore holdie like myself. But you guys should really get out of my arena. And I'll go and get help from someone else. I've got to rebuild this anyways. And what's with all of these bones and blood? Who started crushing birds in here? I think these gentlemen uh, began that uh, as I walked in. We were cleaning out the infestation. Yeah, okay. in preparation. So you're saying, and you guys see the ground beneath you just rise. And cut between you and um, your new friend here. Let me put the light back on so you guys can see a visual representation. Boom. Uh... So I put that wall there this time. So <laughs> there's a wall there that blocks off the vision of your allies between the two of you guys. As you hear, wait. Are you saying that you, dude, that doesn't fly with them dudes, might mm -hmm. not be more okay. oldies like me and you, dude? Well, I mean, based on the robes, I don't think they're lore hold. Dude, are you in trouble, my friend? Mm, not that I'm aware of. Why would I be in trouble? Well, all right. Get out of here, guys. We gotta fix this place up. You start seeing some of, like, the stones over here, like, restructuring into what looks like a nice stairway. And then also up here. But you don't see anyone. It's really weird, but as you look around, each of you give me a perception check. One sec, I have to find it. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. It's living the dream. There's that one. There's the 20. Look at it. A win and then a lose. Sig, you are the only one for some reason that can pin out the details that all the little grains and, you know, like dimples, etc., uh, stature of the bricks and the other mineral of rock all seem to be shifting as if subtly alive. Though no face, no body, but moving with purpose, how one said, like an ant, following orders. The rest of you all witness the stones and whatnot moving about, but you don't pick up the intricate, tiny, minute details. Nonetheless, you all find yourselves being shooed away. Do you all linger? Do you leave separately? Do you leave together? What do you do? Oh, my guys, the rocks are alive. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Rocks are wow. alive everywhere. What? Yeah. Please don't scare me like that, man. The good thing about rocks is that they're dead. We gotta get out of here, man. Have you seen everything everywhere all at once? Rocks literally move. Oh, okay. I mean, didn't we come here for something? Did we get to something? I mean, I yeah, guess we got another body. Is he trustworthy enough to work on the project? I don't know. We could invite him back to the mansion for dinner and chat. Either way, I'm done here. Oh, yeah, so, Rot, since you didn't die instantly to the murderous monster thing, would you care to join us? 
Bro, I got voles we can eat. And I mean, I can... nachos. Oh, yeah. I can... might be able to join you for a bit. Um, I mean, when, when, what are you doing? Well, we're working on a project that'll secure the future. The uh... future of our grades. Yes. Okay, okay. I mean, that's... Um... Sounds like a noble cause. But tonight we're just hanging out. Yeah. Tonight we'll just we can hang out and then tomorrow we can cast the ritual. Oh All yeah, right. don't miss it. It'd be very bad yeah. if you do. Uh well my you know what my leathery friend means is it's gonna be great. You could come. Oh yeah. I mean it's gonna be great if you're there. If you're not there, then the hand I mean definitely not vamp uh, yeah. I'll stop talking. Hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, well, I'll yeah, think about it. Inviting him back to the dorm, or are you guys going your own way and then telling him to come meet you? Because uh, I invite him to come along. Got it. In... Yeah. <clears throat> Rent. Where do you lie in this decision? Ah, uh, well, I mean, my. Uh... It's not like my schedule's all. Oh wait! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sucked in. I, wow. I wanted to I wanted to throw the skull up on the ledge and then bring it with me. Oh yeah, for sure. Do you ever yeah, get I the feeling that the world's moving around you? <laughs> Doesn't the earth rotate is? Yeah, but not around me typically, or us particularly. I just told you is the rocks are alive. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. That's well true. uh today I think I'm gonna go take this skull back to the uh uh, one of the museums and see if they need it or want it. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, I, I don't have much on my schedule, so I might be able to join you. Oh, don't worry. We can kill it again after tomorrow. What? Hey. Uh, I mean, yeah. All right. See you later. Our place is the Champion's Manor. You know of it. Mm. You've heard of it. You've passed it by and walking. Is, is there. Oh. Uh, What's the significance of the Champions Manor? That um, the Champions are is the first year group. The, so first year, there's like group of students that can like band together, basically. And in doing so, they can compete against other students for like a ranking of sorts. And they actually took did their ranking mainly in the tower. This particular tower comes around once a year and allows students to challenge it. They made it to a prestigious floor. Though they did not travel every floor to get there, they made it to a prestigious floor nonetheless, and actually found a student who has been lost in there for some years, brought them back. They became dubbed the champions due to their ranking in that tower, and no one has surpassed since, and everyone that has challenged them has actually lost. I have attempted four times to take the title away. Oh, okay. So oh, I thought it would be every year. Such. So it, it is, but they they still hold the manor because it hasn't been reestablished. The second year is still starting, like it hasn't been relaid out, etc. So as such, they still live where they live, and um, you are familiar with the dorm. Like you're, I mean, it's you know, I always say dorm, okay. resident, but you you have a dorm, like your own private dorm. It's a nice dorm, etc. Uh, but they live in the manor, and you've never been in it, but you've heard stories from those who have. There's they've had, like, like they tell you quite a few people who have come through and never left <laughs> okay so anyone can anyone can visit mm -hmm. that location mm -hmm. but i don't have residence there okay correct oh don't be afraid of my secretary she no she'll probably kill you but you're good I'll don't put in the tell work. her your secrets <laughs> mm, i don't have many secrets i don't anymore <laughs> Uh, well, what time are you wanting me to stop by? Anytime. We're going to go on an expedition tomorrow, I think, and then, and then uh, the spell. Anytime doesn't work if uh, you've already left when I arrive. <laughs> oh, then before we leave. Okay, well, when are you leaving? <laughs> uh, I look over at Shio. <laughs> We're going to leave at sunrise to go on this expedition if you want to join us. All right. <clears throat> I'll be there before sunrise. Uh, do I need a pack of lunch? I would. Okay. 
Well, sounds good to me. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, new friend. I will wobble away with my skull in front of me. <laughs> he takes away his souvenir. Uh, with such, you, the rest of you guys as a crew, initially do what? Let's go home and rest. I'm I'm tired. Are you injured? Yeah. How oh, injured? I have a headache. Hmm. I guess. <laughs> Where is it? You guys head back to the dorm. Meanwhile, Runt, are you working on mounting your new headpiece? Uh, no, I was taking it uh, to one of the museums. Got it. You're turning it in for art uh, artifact purposes. Yeah. Have it uh, appraised, see if they want to utilize it anywhere. Got it. As you take it as such. Uh, go ahead and give me... Uh, what skill would you lean into in the sense of, I don't know, trying to get this in favor of a, or, organized? There's plenty of places you could take it to in the world. It's more or less how would you personally choose to, I guess, approach it in the sense of a trade. Um, I mean, I would probably just try to talk about you know, the history of that location and why this was there, why it was a present, why it could be significant to the past and to future exploration. Okay. And what do you choose to fetch out? You just want to see if they'll take it in and give you some credit, or do you want to gain anything outside of that? Um, I, hmm. I mean, I just want to see if they have any already and if they, they want to put it up and I could write like a, a quick blurb about it and then see if there's any other about how I came to acquire it <clears throat> and then see if there's any other records on that creature. So as you bring it into uh, a known site, particularly one that uh, favors the undead or bone-like structures, uh, we'll call it the uh, Bonesy Museum. Upon bringing it in, you see wide eyes like, oh, oh, this, wow, look at that thing. You see a librarian walk up, basic humanoid male. Wow, my friend, are you telling me that this is a bone dogger? Hmm. I mean, that's what it appears to be. Kind of I mean, snake-like. Indeed appears to be, but to have one in such, oh, what a shame. It would seem as if their nose was chipped. The rest of it is almost impeccable. Yeah, that's my fault. Oh, don't tell the warden that. He'll knock you some earnings and respect. If he finds out you're the reason for damage, when you bring something in, you say it came like that. Mm, oh, fine, yeah, I dug it out of the ground. Found it like it. He abruptly pats you on the back. You kind of lean forward. Oh, you keep it in your hands. You don't drop it. Is runs after a butterfly nine minutes ago and is still chasing it. <laughs> Give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, <clears throat> as the individual wavers over two other working students at the time, rushing over, oh, oh yeah, we'll help you with that. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and just let us. Oh. They lift it up and they hobble it over to a table. They place it down gently. You follow them. So, where would you say you found this for? Charting purposes, of course. Uh, this is on one of the uh, older battlefields to the east. Older battlefields to the east. Okay, okay. Hmm. You see him Just about two leagues that way. Area um, <laughs> on his map. Well, we'll be sure to uh, investigate further. Uh, was, what condition was this in before you removed it from its... Uh, body uh you know i actually just saw a small piece of it sticking out of the dirt and Shit. uh so there's no confirmation that there might be more of this anywhere i mean there's 
most certainly more uh, parts of it underneath oh, the ground, but I didn't have the time in the day to get it all. Ah, no time, I see. Uh, perhaps another time, like tomorrow. Mm, I'm a bit busy tomorrow. This is but I can give you directions. Discovery that if you were there, you would have full credit of. You give directions, whether it be me or another, we'll for sure put our names on the discovery and findings. Ah, it can't be helped. I mean, like I said, I'm I'm busy tomorrow. Uh, I'm not that concerned about it. I just wanted to bring it in. So, well, if it doesn't seem to be a war, you guys want to, well, if you want to break your backs, otherwise. absolutely. Men, let's go survey the area. Can, can you perhaps point out a more precise location here? And he like pushes the map toward you eagerly. Do you choose to uh, cooperate? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to him. I don't mind. You mark it on the map exactly where it is in which you believe you were positioned upon finding it. And he's like, marvelous. Well, oh, um, may I ask you one thing real quick about this direction you placed here? Hi, what is it? But by chance, is there a Groomshaw? Is this his zone? Uh... What uh, was there a? Was that the name the guy the name of the guy that was talking? Yeah. Or this one? Yes. Uh, I that's correct. There was a there's a guy who was uh, in the stones. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't let us excavate in his area. He says we make too much vibrations, too much noise, too much blah blah blah. I imagine if you said that you found this above the surface, you got lucky. He All was right. uh, away Take your at the card. time. Yeah, he was away. We'll send some people to survey the area. But don't go digging. If he finds out it was us, they'll be out of the bank. Go. He sends them off. But uh, in the event we don't find anything else, or unable to acquire anything else, whose credit do I put this to? Uh, plant sizzle tongs. That particular name that I, for some reason, would recognize. Hmm. Probably not. I'm just uh. The name's made up. <laughs> really, not from any uh anyone in particular in my lineage that I know of. So how did you get to the? Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for bringing this discovery, Runt. Sizzle tongs. I'll be sure that it is known. Is there an excerpt you'd like to leave behind? Upon your discovery, of course. Um, not at this time. Uh, you know, I, I might write something up for you and then bring it back. Right. Well, don't be too long. If it's on display before you bring it back, then we would have filled that spot in for you. All right. Sounds good. Well, you have a good one. Thank you for this discovery. I hope we find the rest. Alejo. You head out to your dorm room for a nice rest. The rest of you, is there any discussion before the next day comes? Uh, Shio, could you double check this math? I can double check it. Can't guarantee it's right. Let's see. That's my cue to take a nap. <laughs> I mean, I'm rather concerned. I mean, even nope. when I knew how this worked, I is. messed up and broke stuff. Is letters don't belong in math. What? I rolled a nat one. Are you still using numbers? All I will take work. back my math paperwork from them. Numbers. I thought better of you, Shio. You thought wrong. Uh, maybe the new guy, he maybe he knows the stuff. I can ask him, where'd Seg go? Seg! Oh, he's in his room. I think he said, come knock on the door until I open it. When he went okay. in. Seg! 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 Can you, can you check my math? But <laughs> And then the word math. <laughs> you cringe. 
instantly. I mean, I can try. Can you offer now? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, the equation is really 16 pages long, but you got this. Let me know if you see anything. Do you give him the entire, all 16 pages or an insert? Oh, I'll give him 16 pages. Say you get an entire encyclopedia laid out before you. Good gods. She laughed at the like, conscious. This sounds like an intelligence ability check, except now my anxiety has turned it into a saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the field equations they kind of overlap <laughs> here. Are you crying? <laughs> I, I know it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, but it's okay. <laughs> Look straight in. Ah, appreciate it. I'm glad... You guys can look over this and are willing to trust your lives to this. It brings me pride and joy, especially after I messed up and almost died last time. I will gather my papers and leave with a smile on my face. Well, before he does that, while he's gathering his papers, I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and I'm going to say, Is no math equation could possibly be worse than the hamsters? I trust you completely. Yay! I will take that inspiration. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it for the night. I'm gonna just continue working on my stuff for the night and getting things ready. You got. It. Would you say you're working to the point of exhaustion, or would you say you're working to the extent of that'll do? Oh no, I've got to get some sleep. You don't exhaust yourself the day before your ultimate spell. I mean, some would. You don't, because you're calculated. Wise man. As you go to sleep, give me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Is this a bad idea? Yep. Still gonna do it. Did it yell? It rolled. Are you kidding? Wow. We are rolling terrible, guys. <clears throat> Only on our safes. I know. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. What? Is. Yes. Who's there? Me. Nature? Yes. Well, sort of, but yes. How can I help? How can I help you, Nature? I need more fertilizer. Leaves grow big. Consume. <laughs> soil. Consume soil. Oh, yeah, I got you, fam. Yeah, but, but can I wait for a morning? I'll, I'll go ahead and cast a spell and make the soil good. Thank you. Night is. <laughs> is this going to be halfway off of sleeping rest and just flop down like a cat? You got it. <laughs> the hissing and whispers stop. You have a long rest. Each, All of you guys can roll or act, not roll, activate a long rest. Uh, let me just find the long rest button here. Where? It's hiding under the hit dice. There you go. Where? So on the character sheet, there's the hit dice. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Two tiny little buttons. And before anyone else, I'm going to go outside Shield's window. <laughs> oh, gods. Cheryl! Cheryl! <laughs> oh, I gotta go along with window. <laughs> Cheryl! Today's the day, Shio! Are you ready? Shio will, like, step out from next to the window. Yeah, I'm ready, is. Because they have an entire conversation within Shio's room from the inside and the out. Is everything ready, Shio? Everything's ready on my part. We just need to get our friends, and we could always gather some potion materials on this hike today. Yeah, probably a good idea. 
Oh, yeah, let's go get everything ready. We need a breakfast for our guy coming over. That's right. Because he doesn't know. <laughs> what doesn't he know is... The yeah, anything. <laughs> You know, it's none of the okay. secrets. What about that student that witnessed the murder that supposedly came back to our mansion? Oh, he'll be here this afternoon. Right, right. And who right. knows? Everything goes well. The murder will be erased. Yes. <laughs> Are you awake, saying It's time. He likes incessant knocks on his door for long periods of time. Oh, I was just kidding. Yeah, 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 I'm off my mom. <laughs> I'm going to cook up some, uh, I don't know, vol something. I'll cook but up some good. eggs, bacon, and hash browns. You got it. As you guys are having That's all the door. Wait for him to arrive. What is Runt doing? I I wake up and I I do prayers to the forge and ask for a blessing on my armor and I put on my student robes over over the armor and wash my face see if I got any new beard hairs popping through oh, have and I'm usually disappointed huh oh we have three if you wanted to trim them oh no no I would never. <laughs> Keep them. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed because I don't have a beard like uh, gotcha. you have three little like, like most dwarves. <laughs> yep, I'm like looking for anything new. I'm like ah, damn, another disappointment. Someday, <laughs> and washing face and don my shield, uh, put my hammer on my uh, on my belt and grab my lunch and walk out. Do you head straight to them, or do you have any pit stops you'd like to address? Uh, I just gotta rush my way there before sunrise. Don't want to be late. You got it. You head off in a swift need in doing so. Go ahead and give me a general intelligence check, please. Okay. Oh, someone can roll well and see how it is. <laughs> you absolutely know where you're going. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't know where the champion's manor is? You do. <laughs> so about a shit talking. Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> well, don't go that. Don't, don't go there. They're crazy. All, all rumors. I was going to say champions don't know where the champion's manor is half the time. <laughs> Isn't that the honest of that truth? That's what happens when you resort to uh, portals and quick travel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, as such, <clears throat> right? Do you, how do you do you? Oh, let me drop your little token. Do you? Are you a knocker? Are you like? Um, see, that's the thing is that your token disappeared. I don't know how you're accessing your character menu because I can't look at you. I have a new desk, guys. I'm not used to it yet. Um, hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to make another run because I can't find him on my screen. And it's driving me nuts. Because so, he got disintegrated. Give me a second. You know, I accidentally disintegrated a player in my Wednesday session, and I felt super bad because it was not scripted. And I blew my own mind. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so that's about like a beholder disintegration beam or something you know it's funny it wasn't a beholder um but yeah i did actually the other group when it gets a beholder but i didn't roll the disintegration beam once can you believe that it was so rad it was so mad i was so frustrated i was like are you kidding me but um it was a disintegration beam from another creature and it it blew my mind it caught me off guard so like i was like fuck how do i deal with this it was like not even halfway through the session. I felt so bad. I was like, oh my god. But nonetheless, it happened. They sucked it up. Luckily, they have like 50 characters. So we are where we are. But anything's possible. All right. I got Runt Sizzle Tongs yet again back in my roster. 
I will go ahead and give you access to it in case it, for some reason you only have one later. Uh, oh no, I got deleted in the first place. Bing. Runt, you arrive to a very nice gated, not gated, but like, you know, like gate entry, um, open gate entry, um, paved pathway, gorgeous green lawn, a whole crazy weird garden thing going on over there. I mean, it looks great. Um, the front door is presently here. There is no actual gate. The gate is uh, gateless. Like, it's just like there's like a gate like on the sides. But it's open in the center, and they got a tree up here in the front. Uh, as interesting as it is, there's very little in the sense of front windows. Yeah, I'd walk up and put my hand like between the the bars here to see if there's like a force field. Like as a... you come through, you feel nothing. Hello. Uh, the other three members roll me a perception check to see if you guys hear them over your chewing. No, my eggs are so fantastic. Is oh, your ears uh, can, can, can you get the door? I'm like, t like tiptoeing and lightly <laughs> stepping on each. Uh, pebble here. As you do, you hear the door open. You see a bird, a secretariat, step out. Oh! Taking down hey, some sort of notes. Uh, no traps to be uh, concerned of, right? It kicks the door wide open. Steps aside. Mm, I'll take your word for it. As you walk Hope you're having a good morning. Like scratching some kind of notice. <laughs> I'll just uh, stand at the desk. Oh, uh, do you have like a sign-in sheet or something? Hmm? Oh no, you guys, you can just come on in. We got plenty of breakfast here. Take oh, whatever. Oh, don't. Secretary's already recorded your life history in her books. Oh, okay. Uh, where do we put my boots? Uh, you can send him by the front door. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, is I like could, um... absolutely find that odd. <laughs> <laughs> Put, take off my boots and head back in. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice place. Yeah. Uh, no one up uh, this early? Just you guys? Oh, we're all that there is. Hmm. Is that everyone, so? else, everyone else went to rehab, or they're traitors, maybe. We're not really or, sure. Or betray us, you know. Typical yeah. standard friendship dynamics. I'm pretty sure that happens everywhere else on campus, too. Yeah, Lorraine is th through like her eighth group, and it's only summer. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, we're like half that. Oh, you full? Cooked full? I cooked them. I don't usually cook them, but I thought maybe you'd like them cooked more. There's also uh, eggs, bacon, and hash browns. Eggs? Um, seems a bit rude to be eating eggs in front of a bird person. Yep, and I take a bite looking dead, seg dead in the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> And the, uh, the nice secretary, they don't mind? Oh, the secretary's not a real bird. No. Also, it's a birdy bird world out here. Birds eat each other's eggs in the wild all the time. <laughs> yeah. Especially that secretary. I saw what you did to that robin's nest. All right, well, uh... Mind if I have some bacon? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> all righty, thank you. Yeah. So anyway, how good are you at discerning Transmunday? Uh, definitely not my field of expertise, but um, I'm not a 100% novice. Oh, great. 
Uh, could you double check this math for any obvious errors, <laughs> which might erase all history? <laughs> you see a uh, now 18-page pamphlet given before you that you can please give me an intelligence check at disadvantage on. Don't worry, it's purely hypothetical for my studies. Uh, hmm. uh, give me, give me a minute. And just grab a handful of bacon and. Uh, <laughs> <it> in your <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, let me spread it out over here on this counter. Um, just move all this stuff aside. <laughs> it looks like mm. in every possible way. It is. Is did you write backwards again? Oh, but I did invent new characters to describe new equations. Yeah, what? I don't know what this means. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, there's a couple things. I'm going to make, make a list. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm going to start making a, a list of questions where I like try to copy symbols and things I don't recognize and ask what they are later. So, as you guys are going about this, you hear a the door. Ding, 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 ding. Oh no! The secretary Another does not seem to be taking any notes whatsoever. That's not a good sign. All right, guys, let's see if I explode. All right, I'll try to open so the door. Front, do you guys also head over or no? Uh, I'm just gonna keep taking notes on these weird. Symbols and stuff. Seg. Yeah, I'm start eating Shields breakfast. <laughs> I finished it already. <laughs> you eat what's left. Okay, give a shit. I'll eat the eggs myself. As Shio <laughs> and, uh, is head that way. Is do you touch the door or do you just stare at it? Oh, I'll open the door. As you grab the door handle. Immediately, a little like vortex suction <laughs> tries to pull you and Shio through. Both of you guys give me con saves. Oh boy! <laughs> Man, I am seriously on fire tonight. We are on oh fire. Oh my goodness. Ah! Both of you guys. <laughs> the door slams behind you. You guys hear the door. <laughs> And then the secretary. <laughs> Seg. Runt. You both hear a giggle. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, hi. I'm Rosie. Oh, my gosh. Are you? Are you Runt? I've heard so much about you, but I've never seen you. I'm, like, as legendary as you are. Sizzle tongues? What? What? This really small fairy just dashing around all around you before you can even get a view on her. She's already somewhere else talking. And then she comes back over. Sec, do you know who this is? This is Sizzle Tongs. He's like a legend. No history, no family, no nothing. I have this big book and not a single page. She opens it. You see that this big book out of nowhere um, run, appears on the table, smashing half of the um, plate. That was in front of Seg. As she quickly, ah, here we go. A fresh page. <laughs> Takes out her pen. I met Rut Sizzletongs. And then she scratches in the date. <laughs> I'm just going to scratch my head, like, confused. Rosie, you haven't been here in ages. Exactly. Where have you been? That's why I'm trying to come and re-earn my spot amongst all of you. You replaced me with that bird. And she's here quickly writing in exactly what she's saying into this book. <laughs> Rosie, I never thought I'd ever see anything as fast as your tongue, but I guess your pen. She looks, up, she, just she looks down. down, continues, and if you were to read what she's writing, she says, compliments as usual for my amazing capabilities in which nobody appreciates. Reading that, I'm going to say, you know, Rosie, there is one thing that we've been needing to do, but that bird outside can't help us with. She goes, 
Can I give me another shot? You need. I will do it. <sighs> I, by the way, I'm a champion. I live here. Did anyone take my room? She gave you the most scariest glare a little fairy can give. You have a room, Rosie? Ugh! She like attacks <laughs> at you in just dismay. As she does that, Rosie. her concentration on whatever she had on the door drops as the door just Aww. weans open for Iz and Shio after being just abruptly swapped out. Well, this has been an interesting morning. You see Seg talking to himself. Seg, whatever was before you was gone. Runt, Shio is no... I mean, sorry, Shio. Uh, Rosie is no longer present, at least visually, to you. Yeah, Shio just fucking disappears. <laughs> I think we got pranked by Lorraine or something. Yeah, the door ate us. No, nah, yeah. that was just Rosie. Oh! Yeah. Shh! I'm not here. No one sees her Rosie. Your voice. Present I haven't seen I mean, her since we were lifting weights. Exactly. <laughs> it was wasn't Rosie. Nobody. I like wink in the general direction of Rosie's voice. I looked for you, Rosie. Where? I looked for you at the library because that's where you usually are. And I also aisle. looked aisle eighteen B, your favorite aisle with your favorite book. Which is all about Rosie. Can I, I make a performance check to mutter under my breath under all the rocks and little leaves? Sure. Go ahead and give me a check. Ooh. Well, Rosie's going to kill me for free. That's well, it. I'm a dead man. I'm done. I can't. I am going to start my own group. With the second year students, and I will take your title at the start of the courses. You guys don't even see anything, but you see, like, the table just completely get, like, disaster. Just, like, whatever, you know, miscellaneous small things in which Rosie's small body could run into in anger. Just... <laughs> is you can Aww, Rosie. By, and then the door. <laughs> so, if we're not the champions anymore, will we stop getting sent on suicide missions? Would no. that be a win? No, we just will lose the mansion. You see the secretariat. They like, still hate us. Flip the page about 40 pages back. <sighs> Stop, turn it around, and you see across a double panel ECR. Oh. Uh, hey, when we go back in time, will we have the option to not join the ECR? Maybe. Will we make it? I mean, I can't speculate about anything which may or may not happen later tonight. Run, you're free to you guys are saying a lot of. <laughs> it's like, you guys are saying a lot of weird things. My head hurts from looking at this paper. Um, is there more bacon? What? Yes. Oh, Looks like okay. Rosie. Oh, wouldn't you like a bowl? I will like hold a, up my plate. Like a rat thing? No, I'm good. But these are like winter coat and that's the fad. Not it is going to look heartbroken. <clears throat> they just don't appreciate rodent like we do. I know. I, I mean, I actually got up early and cooked. Me? Cooking? I knew I should have just slept in. Is you dropped them all on the floor. I had to cook them for you. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> who? So who was that that seemed to know who I am? Because that was odd. Oh, that's, that's Rosie. Rosie. She knows everyone. And she's very upset at us because she got lost and I couldn't find her. I know. Mm. I could have sworn she would be in, in the, her favorite book aisle. Did mm. look, but I can't find people. So she's a resident here? Sort of. Bark time? Maybe She's not anymore. Something. She seemed really upset about my joke. Yeah, we should stop burning bridges. That's one yeah. less person we can use for the thing that's... Yeah. I know, I almost had her hooked, too. Oh, that was stupid of me, guys. <laughs> well, you should, should apologize to Rosie. Right. Yeah, I should go apologize. You should do that before ready. 
because yeah, we got to go on the expedition. Oh, well, did you? Oh, you there. All right, we'll see you there then. And on the note of preparing spells, I have no idea how to do that in this one. Oh, oh this one, yeah, I, it's really spell. hard. Yeah, it's not as user friendly. It, it seems more or less the same. I just can't tell what's prepared and what isn't. Oh, so if you click off little, prepare, yeah. right click on it, and then click prepare. So there's a little, little big pirate toggle on the right. The... Wait, are you using a different character sheet? No, he's using the basic one because the different character one's broken. Oh, there's a on the right side of a spell. There's oh, uh, like a a sun symbol. Yeah, it's like a Kagir toggle it. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you just click it. It'll be prepared or not prepared. Nonetheless, <clears throat> as you guys discuss this, is you have about a third of what you need to make it successful, but it's plausible. So, uh, is was it? Um, oh, yeah, I never mind? told you my name. I am Is <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a bit of a mouthful. I so know. I is. Yeah, everyone else does. I insist on it. Okay. Uh, well. I went over your notes here, um, and I have some questions. I was wondering if you could uh, join me for a moment. Absolutely. Uh, all right. So I'm seeing a lot of things here that aren't very standard. Sure. Uh, I was wondering if you could help me uh, equate this to something that we're actually taught. Sure. What can I point out? <laughs> I'll show him a list of, like, 87 different symbols that I don't recognize. Oh, this symbol discerns the interaction of uh, higher space time and like the field of time. So if you, uh, I'll start going into an equation and break <laughs> it out. And I just got to break out my chalkboard. And as okay, you can so <laughs> we turn your one symbol here into about two more pages. Uh, okay, that so at least that's understandable now. Oh yeah, my bad. I was trying to save space. All right, now the next uh, next one, uh, number two of eighty six. <laughs> oh sure, that's the one that actually helps tie in regular space time into the spell. Without that, we could have some uh, lack of control of what's going to happen. Mm. Uh, all right, this will take a while. <laughs> well, we gotta uh, get going, hypothetical... guys. Oh, yeah. I I guess we can do this on the road. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. It's not like we don't have to get the stuff for the thing today. We do, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. What let's was go. for? Is this like? You're working on a thesis already. Oh, yeah. We're definitely not trying to escape an apocalypse. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Is, 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 you said too much. I, I said we're not. Yeah, but that ever makes everyone think you are. Give me an insight check, Runt. Would you like me to roll deception? <laughs> sure. Let's see where this goes. Oh boy. Anything's possible. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Accurate for is. Runt. What the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> that your entire time of simplicity and wonder has just fell into the boiling pot of all possible answers right in front of you as you watch three individuals speak about changing the entire fate of everybody at this campus as if it was just a snap of a finger. This seems a bit dangerous. Um, I think I'm starting to understand your intent. I don't know if you're going to achieve what you're thinking of. Uh, you're missing a lot of materials. How are you planning to power all this? 
If it's That's always, what if we're this for. individual understands your goal more than I had instructed you, Oracle. I don't follow instruction good. Neither do your associates. But yet, a stranger walks in, situates your entire situation in a nutshell. Yeah, we should get better at lying. Chio! Runt, Show me how to lie better. Ambient voice just speak out into the kitchen over everyone, and they just react to it like it's a normal thing. Is I'm hurt. You asked the half god. You you asked the god light to teach you how to lie, and not the literal pirate. You but can't lie for shit. All lie. I mean, isn't that what gods do? I thought that was the point much. of religion. This is why they have yet accomplished their goals. <laughs> See, he's exasperated with us because of the apocalypse. Correct. Listen, it was not mostly from your fault. Oh, can we fill him in now? I bet the voice talked to him. I don't even know who the voice is. Well, it's not my job to explain your problem. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Gio, so go little, ahead. So it's a long story that starts with our good friend slash mortal enemy Anivia. They decided to play God <laughs> and create vampire hamsters. The unfortunate part of that is one of them was pregnant, which created vampire hamspring offspring that ended up being able to reproduce. And now they're everywhere and they're going to eat the world. So we have to go back in time probably kill the vampsters before they give birth, and then the world will be saved. I don't think that's how vampires work. I Neither mean, I've definitely we. read on them. And as far as I'm aware, they don't give birth. Uh, they're they're dead and, and fertile. Yeah, but they keep oh. multiplying. Yeah, it's not supposed to work that way, which is why this is the apocalypse. So I've looked into the future, and it's 100% certain I mean, in fact, just... wait, where, where are these hamsters? Everywhere. In our What's walls, it? in the <laughs> student <laughs> grass. What? <laughs> well, what do you think I said when I said the ground's alive? Yeah, the hamsters are pretty much everywhere. The teachers are all fighting them off, but it's because it's a losing battle. Back. <laughs> I was doing some number calculation. I think there's over 100 billion on the continent right now. I'm very concerned. At this point, they probably started stripping down people to their base components. Only the magic is keeping us safe. How have I not seen a single one? They're fast. You have to know I'm what you're small. looking for. I don't know. I assume they're super powerful by now. If there's this many of them, I didn't even know they existed. Are we certain that they're even, like, aggressive? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're aggressive. They yeah. Have to be you see the secretary Never slip back like at least a hundred pages. Uh, and then hundred, slide what the are book <laughs> to uh, Runt for you to read, and you see, on the fifteenth day of living in the in the dorm in the uh, manor, the hamsters have taken it over. Why are you? <laughs> why are we even in here? <laughs> and then it goes like to like twenty five <laughs> pages ahead. And it's like, this is the second time the hamsters have taken it over. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've escaped the apocalypse 997 times. What's one and more? And don't worry. I put up some magic wards around the, <laughs> the manor to stop the vampsters from emerging. So they're in the walls, but they can't emerge. Pretty time much. Time? For now. I think the weasels are still fighting them in there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the, are we going to go collect the materials? What, what's the uh, natural predator for a hamster? I think everything. Yeah. I think they're but kind now of... They're the, they now they're predators. Superpower vampires. Hmm. I mean, couldn't you just find something that is like the predator for a hamster and maybe give it like Lycanthropy or something? Ah, oh, that'd be have... so cool. 
Yeah, let me go look into the futures for that. To the machine. He disembodied voice. Does that work? Is that is that a solution? Possibility. Rate success. 10% before they kill you, before you successfully eradicate them all. Darn. That's well, 90% less than acceptable. <laughs> I remember at the, uh, the orphanage, there was this song about a little lady who swallowed a fly. So, yeah, I was just thinking we could have something else to take care of the hamsters. Ant eater has been blessed by a god. But it's carnivorous. You guys hear the door ding dong yet again. And that is where we will end today's session. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's never good when we have visitors that we don't invite. Literally, you guys are just on a roll of issues. You know how many things you guys left unattended and answered? How many letters you've received in the past? I don't know, like four <laughs> sessions. You guys we've been, have purposefully we've been busy. You guys have been seriously busy and seriously like negligent <laughs> of half of them. Negligent. There's only so I many mean, hours in a day. That's true. <laughs> we I mean, could respond to the letters, or we could murder random students. <laughs> yeah. All Shio time. got was a letter yelling at him. <laughs> it's nothing to do there. True, true. Well, Runt, I hope you're just as curious as the pack as I am as the day. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to respond to most of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, because it's like, how how crazy is, is the world already? Yeah, I'm sure, it's, you know, you know it magic infuses everything. Until they went and fucked it up further. So I'll put it that way. They definitely, they definitely so, handbred these hamsters. Not them, but one player did. And then dipped on them after the third time when marine hamsters came in to invade the hamsters that he made. In which he didn't know what happened to those hamsters, so... Then that's when this outbreak occurred. But this, this, this Pretty, thing was, was this, long, uh, thing. this was the, they, he had his like, answers for like 20 sessions. Like a class project or something? <laughs> what was the, uh, why were these made? <laughs> he was just doing it in the background, not telling any of the players, just between me and him. He would roll for it publicly. Like everyone would see his roles, et cetera. But he would just be like, I'm in my room doing things. And <laughs> it got out of hand. <laughs> just yeah, we don't butt into his affairs. I saw them use. A catapult they made. I mean, awesome. I, to be fair, a trebuchet is much better, but a catapult will do. So, yeah, it's a thing. For the it's skill of magic, you think that's the weirdest thing? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I mean, yeah, it's 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 odd, but yeah, there's there's magical shit everywhere. We got these weird mascots. Uh... So there's probably even vampires at the school. Yeah, there are some things oh, yeah. that you haven't been able to be filled in on that will definitely change your immediate understanding of some of the students, uh, including these, uh, you know, champions, etc. That I will give you a full headliner on um, of other creatures, etc. That would have popped up in the news or in the media or at the school, at the school, etc. There have been some serious events that occurred in the first year. Though you are a hermit, I will play those in also to, you know, buffer some of the understandings of why you haven't heard everything. That Vampsters, you're the first non-internal student to hear about it, so consider it, I guess, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has been, that has been the most kept secret of this entire group. Okay. Um, Everyone else, they're pretty much blundered. <laughs> Oh god, we are terrible. <laughs> and it's not that they haven't like they have great ideas. It's just the execution, the dice just say no. <laughs> just like Oh the dice hate us. us. Alright dice... guys, do a distraction. Rolls one. <laughs> Gets tackled. <laughs> Crushes several bones. Okay. And they got tackled by an administration office and, and, and by admin. It was pretty awesome. They broke into school property. It's the best. You'll see that these guys are pretty bad. In a good way. <laughs> That's part of me is like, how do you, how do you, how do I bring in a character and not immediately just see these guys as like assholes, like, <laughs> evil a lot of people dickheads for help? They help those people, but then those people end up never being seen again because of other things and other people that went in been following <laughs> these people, I guess is the best way of describing that. Um, 
you would know that the people, the people who hate them the most, are bigger assholes on campus. The one that they speak of the most is Lorraine, aka Latrine, via the party. Um, <laughs> she is their arch enemy. <laughs> you would know her as a green-haired, basic freckled, uh, pompous individual who is very smart, very capable, and blames them for everything. Uh, but I'll give you a whole little profile um, and whatnot. But the reason why you'd see them as be better people is because the people that hate them the most and talk the most about them are definitely much worse people, uh, much worse students, bullies, etc. These guys are just, they just walk in, they just run into them. They don't even try to fight or pick, pick anything with the bullies. The bullies just show up at the wrong time or they show up at the wrong time, etc. So you would have seen it as like a flat line of inconsistencies until you've seen them all. Judgment is reserved. Okay. Um, I mean, well, you think also, we go through group members fast? Talk about Lorraine. <laughs> yeah. But, well, I'll give you I, some more info, etc. But go ahead. I said I may or may not be able to attend next week. Yeah. We'll see. I, I got a surprise uh, thing come up. Oof. So. No worries. Understandable. No worries. Um, We'll work around it. Uh, they can. They have plenty of tests they need to finish before any of the big juicy stuff that they will need you for uh, initially, and then uh, uh, keep you filled in. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll have my laptop with me, but I don't know if I'm going to be working or not at this time. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we're here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you're available, we'll, we'll be here. <laughs> if you could even mm -hmm. just listen in, maybe you can't talk, whatever, by all means, you know, whatever whatever you wish to 